Hey, how we doing guys? We good? How are we doing today? It's so nice to, to see everybody here bright and early for the stream. Ah, how are we doing gang? Oh, yeah pretty keen for today um i've been wanting to do this for a while but i've just sort of forgotten about it and i got a bit wrapped up in doing masso mode but um um i have something i have something prepared for next week so i won't be doing masso mode today or tomorrow um i'm not sure what we'll be doing tomorrow yet i'll figure out something fun but no more masso mode for the rest of the week but next week there's something there's something cool yeah I, I won't say what it is yet but i've got something cool for for masso mode next week so get be prepared for that on Monday. So my stream image was Massa Mode with Marco. Oh, that was the old thumbnail, but then I, I shuffled it around last minute. No. <laughs> um, it was originally going to be Massa Mode, but I, I, I thought of something fun, so. 
But yeah, how are we doing? Let's say hello to everybody. Who's here? We've got Brian. We got Arceus. We got Nuclear Winter. The Nuclear Winter. That's kind of terrifying. We got Devis. We got Rebel Wolf. We got More They Cat. Uh, anti Anti Mao. <laughs> Rebel Wolf. Uh, Ged Duffy. Insane Oddball. Vike. I'm a Bird. Kiki Zandov. Gamer for Life. Dear Heart's Wish. Papa Mochio. And Lapon Kotsu. How are we doing, everybody? Good to see you. And Axolotified. Yeah, how are we doing? We having a good, um, like this evening for most, for most Americans. No. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, stinking hot where I am. So I'm glad to be in the aircon in the morning today. I'm going to have to go outside in the afternoon though. So we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> More well, is a bird. You confirmed. He said it. Oh, well, I did say it. I wasn't going to admit it, but but you guys, you guys forced me to admit it. So it's it's true. It's true. I am actually a bird. Sorry, guys. Hey, Osari, are you waiting for playable Caligura? I am on the edge of my seat, holding my breath for playable Caligura. <laughs> if he's uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be so good. I can't wait for that. I want to play as the biggest bastard possible. And that's going to be fantastic. Him or Pav, I'd be I'd be really happy to get either of them next. We might actually get Pav next, to be honest. So, I, I reckon we'll either get Pav or Tanaka next. Because that's what people voted for. And and Miro said he's, he's most likely going to follow the votes. So, so it's either Pav or Tanaka. I hope it's Pav, because Pav's so cool. Caligura is probably going to be last because <laughs> poor Caligura. Nobody likes him. <laughs> I feel like the only person who actually likes Caligura. <laughs> oh, caught you out in your scheme. Yeah, I am scheming. I scheme a lot. So get used to that. Sorry. <laughs> so Tanaka got the most votes on Twitter. Well, so that's the thing. The, the, the poll was broken up because on Twitter you can only have four options but there's six characters so and to, and and pav got a lot of votes on the second poll so it's it's sort of hard to to know exactly who was the winner and people can like vote twice obviously because there's two polls so and we'll have to see exactly how it plays out but it does seem like pav was a uh, was beloved a lot wasn't it Save everyone as Caligura and Machine Gun ending. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Tanaka's literally just a dude. I, I, I love everyman characters. I really do love them. So I'd be pretty happy if we got Tanaka next too. Because um, he's, he's a pretty good everyman. I wonder if... So um, in the first game, I believe a whole bunch of abilities were added and changed over time. So I wonder if we'll get um, character overhauls when they get added. You know, because Pavo only got three abilities, so it it wouldn't surprise me if he got an extra one. Um, and I wonder if Tanaka is going to get something really unique, like he can learn abilities in in a different way or something. Because we see him learn abilities as the game goes on. If you keep him alive, he learns from Marco. Um, so I, I wonder how that's going to work. It'd be interesting to see. Putting all my bets onto Tanaka. If I don't get to play as just a guy, I'll cry. <laughs> BTS member versus Japanese salaryman, exactly. <laughs> well, what did... Um, I think Muro said that uh, he was inspired by Visual K, which is sort of those over-the-top um, Japanese, I think, uh, male idol groups that wear those extreme costumes like that, like really heavy military or other things like that. Like really handsome guys. With a bit more cutscenes and endings with new playables. Well, there's definitely going to be a different ending B because everybody has their own ending B, right? Um, so, and definitely new cutscenes because each character has at least one unique cutscene, I think, uh, or something a little different about their, their playthrough, right? Like, you know, Karen has that unique Pav scene. Um, well, no, I don't think every character has a unique scene, but they, everybody's got like, you know, most people have something unique about them, right? Um, so I imagine we'll get more, more unique, unique dialogue, unique scenes and 
And I am hoping we get like, because we don't have ending S in the game yet. Um, in the first game, there was each character had a had their own ending S. So you had to do something really weird and, and complicated and usually pretty difficult. And then you got that character's unique ending. I'm hoping we get that for Termina, but there is going to be 14 ending S's. So it's like, uh, that's a lot of work. So we'll see. <laughs> Wonder if Tanaka will be another recruit that locks you out of another recruit. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it could be. Um, we'll have to see, I suppose. Like, you know, may maybe getting him locks you out of getting Marco or something. Something like that, right? Or looks you out of getting Olivia, you know. Check doesn't get a teleports behind you as a skill. It'd be a missed opportunity. <laughs> gacked. Yeah, gacked. Exactly. Tanaka learns Tiger Drop from the Yakuza. <laughs> He's just a, it's just a Yakuza playthrough. <laughs> they, they need to add a Pachinko Parlor to this, I think. Ending S where you save yourself. And one more of the others could be interesting. Well, see, the ending S's in the first game were completely unique. Like, you couldn't, like, I, I, like you know, there was the Das ending S where you had to, um, where it was Lagarde dies, and then you had to resurrect him using a custom spell that you had to find the pieces for, and then you had to escape. And it's like it's completely unique. Um, and Ragnvalder's one was you had to kill every enemy with a unique soul. And then get their soul using a soul stone on the hardest difficulty. So that's no saving and no companions. Um, which is apparently the hardest thing to do in the game. But, you know, I've seen people speed run it. So, you know. <laughs> doppelgangers are never explained. No, no. Yeah, sorry. Um, are doppelgangers explained? Not really at the moment. There are some clues. But most of it is just sort of us guessing based on other things. So I don't think there's any explicit explanation for what for what double gangers are yet. Hey Kane. Um what's going on, going on this evening? Also you seem to be streaming a lot on YouTube these days. Yes. Um To answer your YouTube question first, um I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore. I'm going all in on YouTube now. So um I decided just to, to throw all of my eggs into YouTube's basket and try and push as hard as I can here. And it's been going pretty well so far. I mean, it's, it's only been the start of the week, right? But, um, and coincidentally, um, uh, this is actually a coincidence. Um, it's right when my memberships opened on YouTube, which, uh, which is very nice. So if you see the, just underneath the button, uh, underneath the video, there's a join button and there's a few different options there. Um, it's, they're, they're the same as, as Twitch subs, if you're familiar with Twitch. Um, but we can set the price. So the, the first one, the static one, you still get all like the badges and the subs and the, and the, uh, emotes and that, but it's as cheap as I can possibly make it. Cause I know there's a lot of people who say they want to support, but, um, they can't afford the, the higher one, which is like five bucks a month. So it's, it's, I, I, I completely get that, you know, Hey, hey, okay. Thank you very much for the, for, for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I appreciate all the support. If you get analog or higher, then you see, um, previews of upcoming videos in the, in the community tab. So, um, and, and of course all this money just goes straight back into me working on the channel. So, and Hey, thank you very much. Uh, we thad, we had, we had, <laughs> how you doing? Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. Um, so the, the, uh, the membership tier I personally recommend for everybody here is the silver tier and if you take a look at that it says um it's 500 dollars a month and if you get that i will buy a bar of silver and you get a picture of the new bar of silver each month so i personally recommend that one so <laughs> but no thank you guys for any any support you can any any support you can give even just say you know like watching the videos putting a like putting a thumbs up you know it all it all really helps Hey, thank you very much, Chev. Thank you very much for coming to Analog. Really appreciate it. I, like, I, I really appreciate all the support, guys. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm streaming on YouTube now. Cause, and, and because um, there's a lot more people. I have had a lot of people tell me that they they will not watch on Twitch, but they will watch on YouTube. And I haven't heard the, I haven't heard the opposite. 
Haven't heard a single person say I will only watch on Twitch. So, <laughs> and and my viewers are like three times as much on YouTube than they are on Twitch, no matter what. So it just feels like a bit of a no-brainer to to move over here, right? Just because I I want to be able to give you guys the, the content that you get you want. Like I I like streaming on Twitch, but it's like if there's if more people want me here, if a lot more people want me here, then that's sort of, you know, at the end of the day, I'm here for you guys, aren't I? So. Something happened to me with Twitch and YouTube. No idea why people hate Twitch. It seems to be my future as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I can understand the, the hesitation to join a new platform uh, because I was in, in the exact same boat when I started streaming a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't, I didn't get Twitch. I didn't get the culture. It's, it's a different platform. It felt strange. Now it, it feels second nature to me. Um, and actually coming back to YouTube streaming was very odd. Watching streams on YouTube was very odd for me. But yeah, it's, it's just sort of like a lot of people don't want to get over that sort of uh, introduction. And that's fine. You know, people don't want to go there. Then they don't want to go there, right? <laughs> YouTube has a fair share of problems, of course. It does. Like, you know, not, neither platform is perfect. Um, and so, you know, I, it, there, there are, that's, why, that's why it took me so long to come across because I wanted to hedge my bets and, and stream on both. But after a while, I was just like, well, I'm just not giving people what they want. So it's because YouTube saves the VODs. That definitely helps. That helps a lot. Um, but there's, there's a few other small things. Um, I'll go into it some other time, I think. <sighs> hate change it makes me vomit exactly lap on kotsu see nobody likes change <laughs> i hate change <laughs> um so twitch has tos that bans you for the tiniest things it was re recently caught in money laundering really recently caught in money laundering well i do hate the government so that kind of makes you like twitch more <laughs> I recently decided on YouTube more because affiliate on Twitch requires 75 daily viewers. Oh, so no, um, affiliate on Twitch is three viewers and you have to stream a certain amount. And it's, it's really not that difficult to get affiliate on Twitch. Um, and then you can get monetized and you can start getting subs on YouTube. It's a lot harder. And this, this is what I've done. Like, you know, I've just opened memberships now and I've been, and you guys know how long I've been putting out content for on YouTube, right? It's a lot harder to get the equivalent on YouTube. Um, it's Twitch partner, which requires 75 before you can apply. I, I think technically you can apply beforehand, but they won't look at you unless you're over 75 viewers. Um, so that's partner is a lot harder than the, and there's no equivalent on YouTube. It's like, once you're in, you're in, right? Um, so it is, it is a lot more difficult to get partner. I see a lot of streamers that just never get partner on Twitch. Um, I'm almost at partner numbers here on YouTube, but on Twitch, I wasn't anywhere close, right? <laughs> It's funny how that works. Um, easy access. I think there's generally more content on YouTube along with shorts. Mouse we're making. Yeah, that, that's the thing as well. It's like on YouTube, you can just find everything a creator's doing. YouTube is really making a big effort to be sort of an omni platform where you put everything on. And even just today, they just opened up a new section of content, which is podcasts, where you can upload big videos. And people can play it on their apps in, in a new section, the podcast section in their apps. And it just plays the audio. It doesn't play the video as well. Um, and a couple other small features like that, which is really interesting. So they're trying to be a platform where people can upload everything to it, you know? So that'll be interesting to see what they do in the future. Oh. <sighs> Also put my money in the washing machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they do it, right? They just throw their money in the washing machine. That's, a, that's how they launder money, right? Tax evasion is truly a moral and ethical obligation. It absolutely is, guys. And any law enforcement officers listening right now, feel free to um, feel free to come and have a chat with me because yes, I commit all sorts of crimes, and I'm not. I'm definitely not joking right now. I am joking. Please don't arrest me. <laughs> Ah, uh, Fear and Hunger 3 logic using NFTs to do something. Oh God, could you imagine? Fear and Hunger 3 is an NFT game and that's actually part of the game. It'll be the first NFT game that actually makes use of NFTs properly. <laughs> Fear 
Kronaga 3 logic spams you with 8 NFTs until you lose sanity. <laughs> Don't know what money laundering is, which is bad because I work at a bank. Um, Might be bad. I don't think a lot of people know what money laundering is, to be honest. I think I think a lot of people only know about it because they they had that like an, a whole season of Breaking Bad where they went over the intricacies of money laundering, and I think that's why most people know about it. But anyway, what we're doing today is sorry, I got I keep getting off track. Um, <laughs> Twenty minutes talking about nothing, right? Um, what we're doing today is so in Termina. It's possible to get uh, three meat grinders, right? If there was only there, originally there was only one you could get, but now there's three. You can pick up one from the bunker where you could get the original one. Um, you can get one from stealing from Abella when she's when you fight her, and you can get one from the mob. And then you use the item you get there, so you get the bench grinder item when you fight them, right? You get the bench grinder item, and then you use that to craft a meat grinder. And there's a couple of the bits you get that are that are RNG, but they're they're not that uncommon to get. Um, but you can, if you're if you're not careful, you can get you can get a little screwed by RNG. So you do have to be a little, little bit careful. You have to be a little bit careful with trying to get them. Um, but you should be you should be fine. You can you can if you save you can reset right and get them. Can you marriage with the three and become a meat grinder man? That'd be sick. That'd be so sick. I want, actually, you know what? I want a mod where you play as the mob. I think that'd be a cool mod one day. You play as the mob and you, you, you meat grind your way through the city. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me I have to do taxes. Oh no, poor Americans. Australians don't have to do taxes for another three months. Can we make a giant metal, a giant meat grinder tricycle? That would be cool. But yes, that's what we're doing today. Um, should we get started? Actually, no, actually, you know what? Sorry, I might just take take a short break for a minute. Um, and then we'll get started, right? So I don't like using it, taking a break this soon, but I I just remember something. So I have, I'll be right back um, and we'll get started.
Okay. Okay, we're back. One second. There we go. <clears throat> They would never be allowed to make an anime version of Fear and Hunger. It would be censored to high heaven. Um, I don't know about that. Have you seen what they do with anime? There is some wild stuff. Um, you could definitely get away with Termina, right? Mm, maybe not. Yeah, they, they could do... Yeah, maybe, maybe not Fear and Hunger 1. Definitely 2, though. I guess I guess one you'd probably be in, in the realm of hentai there, and they have or they always have shit budgets, don't they? Hmm. Even though it's not explicitly supposed to be pornographic, it's meant to be more shocking. It's still like that content, so. <laughs> and I make the monsters with pants. Oh yeah, you, you could you could like have it like um have it like the right angles and, and shadows and stuff, so you don't actually see what's what's happening, right? We replace the stingers and sacks with McKelly's face. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're playing as Marco because he can start with steel. Um, someone else can probably start with steel too, but Marco's just good. Marco, who, what should we call him actually? How about... We get meat. Meat grind. Grinder. Z. Z. Here we go. Me grinders. There we go. I'll never get tired of that joke. I will never get tired of putting Z at the end. <laughs> yeah. Me grinders. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we'll do a fear and hunger mode. I've never... Should I do easy? I've never done easier mode. It might be fun to see what's actually... What the difference is. Who do you think is the easiest starting character for, for trying to get a friend into Termina? Uh, Marco is very set and forget. Um, Abella is also really good. Um, yeah, Marco or Abella are both excellent. Um, although you do have to make sure on Abella that she gets wrench toss instead of short circuit. Um, otherwise, yeah, yeah, they're both really good. Uh, have you seen what happens if you rest on the train constantly as a Doctor character? Dan? Uh, no, is there a unique scene? I'll go, I'll go Fear and Hunger mode. And like, you know what, I'm going to go easier mode because I, I actually don't know what the differences are, so it would be fun to find out. Skip the character history? No, we do want to do specific things here. Uh, I'm not going to read this out, we've all seen it before. Um, so I want to... Become a pickpocket, because we want steel. You can get steel. You can get steel pretty quickly as Marco because you can kill Kalagura early. But I might as well get it like right now. Um, that's agility, I believe. But this is health. You can only get health. This is the only place you can get extra health from. So, so on that on that choice it like increases various stats but he has one that increases his max health only him and levi can actually increase their max health and only in the introduction so it's, it's interesting accuracy no evasion no defense uh or offense what's offense what does offense do here i don't know actually hey, let me see <laughs> Hang on, where's my list going? I've lost it. Yeah. Uh, Marco. Offense is adrenaline rush. Defense is perfect guard. Oh, okay. Well, um... We'll go perfect guard. We'll start with perfect guard because um, you don't really need adrenaline rush this early. Get rid of Ricardo and then you get killing intent or get your sister and flee the country and you get escape plan. Um, let's go killing intent actually. You don't usually get that. Dan, there's a special death screen if you sleep on third night. It gets visited by Pocket Cat who gives him a furry headpiece. Oh, that happens whenever you get moon scorched. 
so whenever you're playing as Dan and you get moon scorched, that happens. But on day night three, you get moon scorched. Guaranteed. Oh, hey, Fleur. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the membership. <laughs> so a couple of medical boots. Okay. Uh, save your character history. Yes. I was testing this this run out a little bit here. And you don't need to do the intro with him. Because the intro only gives you... You can only get the Kassara from that. And Marco doesn't need the Kassara at all. Um, his, his hands only get outpaced when you get like the meat grinder and other S-tier weapons. So... He doesn't really need anything else. <laughs> Vodka, nice, nice, nice. Plays Marina first and got Necromancy and immediately used it on the Bremen soldier in Old Town. So the ghoul became an inside joke between me and my friends. <laughs> There's some, there are some fun little interactions like that, aren't there? Iron Spear. Kind of garbage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We don't need to do this. Goodbye. Okay. In comparison, Dan gets moon tanned. <laughs> Crescent here, you remember? Go. Oh, yeah, we did. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for 10 members. Really appreciate it. First week with memberships, we already hit 10 members. Let's go. Let's go. I don't really need a scab grab much, do I? It's going to be easy mode. Okay, let's go. Is this game beatable with Marco's Fist? You probably could. Um, um, are we counting the different buff skills? The skills that, um, like, you know, increase your attack power. Like how you can get... What's it called again? Bloodlust? Um, if we're counting that, then I would say definitely. Now, I want to kill Tanaka here. Because I think it's funny. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Do mob spawn in easy mode? The mob. Uh. Is it. Does it not spawn in easy mode? Hang on. They do? Do they? Because <laughs> if they don't, then this is going to be really bad. <laughs> Mobs don't spawn in easy mode as far as I've... Oh, no. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just restart then. We're still, we're still, right, at the, we're, we're still right at the start, so... Yeah, there's only one mob. Okay. Okay. Meat grinder. Here we go. All right then. We'll play. Well, I was I was just testing out easy because I haven't done it before, so I just wanted to see the differences. Um. But if it's going to actually make it so that I can't do this, then. <laughs> uh, pickpocket. Yeah, yeah, hold W, it's good. Uh, ba -ba 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 stamina, ba -ba 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 -ba. I have to do a playthrough and easy some other time then, because I am interested in seeing the difference. Because you can get the... Um, I do know that, that you can... Oh, whoops, adrenaline. Oh, I didn't mean to get that, whatever. Whatever. Um, let's try out... Uh, killing Intent. Let's try out Killing Intent. Somebody told me that it's better than I gave it credit for, so we'll give it another go. Save your character history, yes. Yep. Easy is find, sadly no mob. Easy is basically training wheels and all the crutches. The crutches for those crutches. I mean, I mean, to be fair, it is like it is easy for fear and hunger, which is still very hard compared to other games. <laughs> Yeah, escape plan is not as good as it used to be, that's for sure. 
Um, I had it fail like four times in a row um, when I was playing Mass Mode the other day. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it shouldn't do that. <laughs> Pep feels nice. Okay. Uh, the only difference is I've noticed the poopy dogs no longer hunt you. Ah, oh, those fellas, yeah. <laughs> Why would you not stack up on medical goods? I never picked the other start. Well, so the food one obviously just gives you gives you food, right? Um, and that's not really a big deal in Termina. Um, but the other one, luxury goods, gives you heroin. So if you're if you're aiming to get Levi early, then that can be nice. Um, or if you just want, you want a guaranteed heroin, because that can actually be quite good in some boss fights. But you can get guaranteed heroin other way, so it's not... I do find that the medical goods is, is usually the best choice. Has Meow seen all the endings? Uh, well, I've seen, I've gotten endings A, B, and C. I haven't gotten every ending B for all the characters, though, so that's what I'm going to be working on over, well, while I'm playing here, it's just trying to get every ending, every B. Medical goods is for beginners. If you go luxury, you can get pet pills or heroin. If you're good at resetting heroin withdrawal. I guess, yeah, you know, I guess you can you can sort of uh, reset heroin if you know what you're doing. You can get pet pills with luxury. That's pretty good. She's like a male wife real. <laughs> My arm! You cut it! I didn't cut it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mako decided if he couldn't have Tanaka, then nobody could! Miss, get owned, you fucking dog. No, please, it's too late. It's too late, he's already dead. He was dead the moment I set eyes on him. And now, I'm going to wear his hat. Now it's stylish. <laughs> Let's go. Remember to talk, talk to Tanaka for a free turn rev. You can do that with almost all the characters, right? You can, like, talk to them and say, okay, let's not fight. And then, like, okay, and they calm down. And then you can still kill them. So, so. F, F in chat for Tanaka, guys. Come on. Goodbye. Should I do needles now? I should do needles now. Yeah, let's do needles. As we get him out of the way early, right? Need some glass, some glass. If you get glass, you can do needles pretty easily. Um, you blind him, and then the fight is like glass isn't as strong as it used to be, but it's still it's still great for for doing this. Check the bookshelf, Tales of the Pocket Cat. Thank you very much for getting <laughs> law books. Yay! <laughs> Oh, am I going to get pinned by the Wisdom? I think I might. Whoops. Persuasion talk doesn't work on Dan, Osar, and Levi. Okay. Where did Tanaka go? Everyone looks at Marco wearing his hat. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Ready to defend myself. Um, He's actually not that hard, is he? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, my Scott. Okay. Am I gonna die here because I'm a fucking idiot? I think I might. <laughs> cool. Too easy. Too easy. I thought you guys said this game was hard. So losing Marco losing an arm, does that actually affect his damage at all? I mean, I should heal. And fuck it, one more. See, like, I'm usually like, you know, I'm actually I'm actually quite good at this game, and I'm just showing you guys what like a bad start would be like. So this is just an example of what another player might do. Not me, usually. I'm just being kind and showing you. Losing arm gives you more damage. What the hell? Really? How does that work? <laughs> 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 
Being left side of this bad for a boxer. Best to cut off the other arm for good effect. Okay, we can do that. Is it me grinder two-handed? Oh, it is. Okay, we'll have to Sylvian at some point then. That's okay. I was gonna I was gonna Sylvian anyway. I don't like being left sided. Lisa rules, maybe. That game was sick. I should play that on stream sometime. <laughs> okay. I don't think you can actually fight a Bella here, so I'm just going to recruit her. Where is the Z in meat grinder? Oh, did I forget to put the Z back in? Ah, that's annoying. Oh well. God damn it. Okay, so what do I need? I need... I need four... You know what? I'm going to leave these... All of these, um... Tool shelves. Um, just in case I get bad RNG later. Um, because you do need specific items to craft the meat grinders. So I'm just going to leave all these tool shelves in case I need to come back and, and scab grab later. Look at the chest though. Get your leg game. If that fails your bike game. Yeah, exactly. Just bite him. What's my health like? It is kind of low, isn't it? Um, actually, can I craft anything? No, of course I can't. Um, maybe let's not do needles then. I played. I played the start of Lisa, but then I just and this was not on stream. This was just just personally, and I just sort of stopped. Well, I guess we are fighting him then, hey. Like middens. Which one's middens? Skills, wrench toss, that. Is he blinded? Is he blinded? I don't think he, I don't think we blinded him. Okay. Um did we blind him? No, we didn't. God damn it. Last shots again. Abella, equip your pipe wrench, please. There we go. Okay, now he's blinded. Okay, we still have to survive this, so. Good, 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 good. Now it's easy mode. At least we mercy killed Tanaka before Nita could get to him. Exactly! We're doing him a kindness. Ow. That. Give me that. Here we go. Die, Needles, die! Yeah, if you get glass, he's honestly not that hard to do early. Unless you get really unlucky with your glass missing, which is definitely more of a possibility now. Or if you, if you just get really unlucky with him killing you through glass, which I have had before. Um, he's not, he, you, he, you can do him pretty reliably like early on and get, um, and get heroin from him. There we go, ballistic. Oh, 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 fuck yeah! Ballistic shield, boys, let's go! Let's go! Did I get the other gas can? There we go. Sick. Ba, 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 ba. It sucks because I consider glass OP, so I can't use it. Thus, I can't kill needles in an entire playthrough. <laughs> it is pretty strong. I, I try to only use it if I'm trying to do needles early, um, because yeah, when it's when it's like later on, it's like uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, but by the time you reach the city, you should have better tools to deal with it and not need glass. Uh, let's get some ammo actually while we're here. Get this, thank you. Uh, let's use a coin. <clears throat> I can use some goodies. Find two lovely vials. That's uh yeah. I'm 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 happy to trade a coin for two lovely vials. Yeah, I'll do that. The reason Tanaka has so many potential deaths is because he has such a cool hat. Everybody wants it. That's true. That's very true, actually. Okay. Rasta power, useless. 
Okay, let's go. Meat pie. Meat pie. Nice, 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 nice. Meat pie, boys. Let's go. We love meat pies here. Not doing that. Ba, 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 ba. I hang out with people that say glass isn't broken. It just kills me inside. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's definitely broken. Blindness is just nuts, right? And I don't know how you could nerf glass without it being broken. It, you, it's either broken or it's useless, right? You know, if you keep lowering its hit rate, the, the chance for it actually to blind, then it just suddenly become it becomes useless. Um. But because it inflicts blindness, then it's just really strong. It would have to be like temporary blindness or something, but then I don't know if that would actually work. It's, it's it feels like it's temporary anyway, because whenever I used it on um on the mob, it seemed like after two or three turns, it uh, the mob would just start hitting again anyway. So I I, I, don't, I don't know how you'd fix it. When in fact the whole term manifest was just a, a ploy for Rare to get his hands on Tanaka's hat. Exactly. Exactly. Ba, 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 ba. Red Herbie. Yum, yum, yum. Egg. Perfect. Let's go. Egg boys. Hang on. I need to cure her, don't I? Do I have a white vial yet? I don't have a white vial yet. Let's go get a white vial. Ratto. Ratto. Refining Talisman, Golden Chantrell. Is there... Is there a guaranteed Purifying Talisman in the game? Because it's, it feels like a little odd that it's a bit RNG to get one when you need it to complete the game. There's a chest up here, isn't there? What's the deal with the huge green monster? Which, which huge green monster are you talking about? There's a few that could fit that. Rusty Pipe. Excellent. Mob has a glitch for some reason. It's one of my first playthroughs of mob enemies lost fire status. Weird. Okay. Purifying talisman, 50 shilling shop. Ah, oh, right in the shop. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, babe. Goodbye. Okay. I think Dr. Keith. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Keith. He's got some neat stuff, doesn't he? Did I get the white vial? Yes, I did. There we go. Got recipes of the 15th century. Ba, 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 ba. The one that says it's waiting for Vanushka outside the bunker. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So that one is a... Oh, what's it called again? Um, an Iki Torso, which I believe is a Finnish mythological creature. But yeah, it's it's literally just it's it's part of a race of creatures that are Vanushka followers, and it's it's literally waiting for Vanushka to come back. It doesn't know Vanushka's dead, and maybe you didn't know that, but do, now you do. Hey August, bye August. Pipe, oh pipe, nice. Another another pipe, but I think we need new two pipes. Okay, we'll go this way. Man, those, those villagers really aren't chasing me today. Oh, because I've got... Because I've got killing intent. They don't like me. Well, this guy... This guy likes me. Do I want to fight this guy? I kind of don't want to fight this guy. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. Iki Torso. Yep, yep. How you doing, El Wee Wee? Take out this arm. There we go. Boom. Nice. Bear trap. These guys can bear trap first turn, and it just basically... If, you, if you're going solo, then it's like you you just you have to eat a whole bunch of damage because you have to guard the bear trap. It's it's ridiculous, I think. <laughs> Didn't rack about it. Killed it? There's multiple. There's multiple. It's a race of things. Migrant is hungry, is he? Is he? Not really. Don't lie to me. Because you can see, uh, it's not really confirmed in game that they're a race, but um, in an interview, uh, Miro says that one of the things he wanted to add to the game was a an Iki Torso running around, running around um, 
This guy's stronger than the other pipe warding villagers for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, he wanted to have an Iki Torso running around the town of Preheval on day three night, but he didn't manage to add it. But he specifically said an Iki Torso instead of the Iki Torso, so there's, it sort of suggests there's multiple. Nice. Nope, we'll leave that. <clears throat> I'm stupid. I just hit the bear trap to disarm it. Yeah, you, you can just um, you can just guard and it gets rid of it. Skin bubble Sylvian. There we go. Do you know how the characters progress past Old Town? Considering it's a PC opens the way to the actual town. Uh, this sort of implication is that there's a lot of different ways into the town. Um, some that oh, Chuck Chuck. Fuck yeah. I, I don't need it for this playthrough, but check-checks are cool. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to equip that. Um, we see we see a couple of different things. Um, like, you know, we see August just straight up jumping over the fence. Fuck yeah! Bremen Elite Helmet. The best RNG helmet you can get. Um, and it's sort of implied that Samari is running around using rare sigils because she's she's got all rare powers, right? Um, and I'm sure there's other ways into the city. Like, you know, it, it is like a full city, right? But gameplay, you know... Gameplay, so it's it's one of those things where it's like gameplay and lore are two different things. Like, you know, what's what's what you can physically do in the game? A coin for a single light blue vial that sucks. What you can physically do in game is different from what you you would realistically be able to do, right? Oh no, mayor yet, hey. I do find that really annoying that you can't do mare straight away, but skin bubble rare, truth under the moon, like there's some good books though. Anathemia, oh, some good books. Book of Enlightenment, fuck yeah. Preheval document, okay, that's all right. Could be better. I need, I've got the, I've got the book I need anyway, so. Let's go up here. Do I have a gun yet? Can I hold a gun? I don't want to do this priest yet, do I? When I was testing, when I was when I was testing this run out the other day, I got a fucking um uh what's that? What's the gun called where you have the sword on the end of the gun? Bayonet. I got a bayonet. I was like, fuck yeah! I've got like two bayonets throughout my entire playthrough. Playthroughs, multiple. Goodbye. I think Abella should be able to craft prosthetics in a skill. That'll be interesting. I wonder how that would work. Because because old-timey prosthetics weren't super good. Abella could make me a cool one. It'd be, I want, yeah, I wonder how that would work. Maybe it like lowers your damage or something, but it still lets you hold two-handed weapons. Here, Abella. You look cold. You can wear my jacket. And, and Tanaka's bloodstained hat. You can have that. <laughs> Good luck, I'm gr grinder. Grinder grind now. Yeah, thanks, Coop. Orange, add cool arm crafting skill to Hexen, please. Please. <laughs> Abella brings out a stapler to reattach our arm. <laughs> Power of German science. Find Eye of Sylvian. Oh, that's all right. I haven't had an Eye of Sylvian for quite a few playthroughs, actually. The Eye of Sylvian um, increases the amount of healing you get from all sources, I believe. It's very nice. Sewer Winch. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I do want to save most... Oh, that's sick. That's, I actually need one of them. 
I do want to save most of these shells, but I feel like I don't want to come back this way. So I'm just going to grab them now. Because there's only like two shells in there, so. White vial. Bop, 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 bop. Get some food while we're here. Nice, nice, nice. Bag of wheat flour, carrot, and tomato. Cool. Abella side eyeing Marco. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to try to chance it with one arm? Because, well, Marco is strong. It would be cool if, because, like, if the canonically really strong characters, like Marco and Abella, it would be cool if they could um, hold, they, if they could count as two handed with one hand. Right. I think that'd be cool. Can I get in here? I'll try and force it open. Because there's a gun in here that I want. I want this gun. Hey, nice. Thank you very much, Abella. What a legend. And a bit of a scab crab too, which is nice. Blue herb, meat pie, nice, nice, nice. Everyone's getting a lot of things. Dual wielding chainsaws, that would be so sick. See, guaranteed rifle here. You need, you know, you need to break the door down or unlock it somehow. Um, but you can get a rifle really early here. It's only got like two bullets though. Oops, okay, guess we're not holding that then. It's not showing how many bullets it's got. Oh well. Um, everyone's kind of hungry. Let's eat. You can have a meat pie. Food. And you can have meat pie. Uh, let's go. Ah! The chair fell over on its own. Dot, dot, dot. Obviously, Evil Dead and Set Meat Grinder into our stump. That would be sick! Unique items you can only use if you have one arm. Or no arms. How awesome would that be? <laughs> How about an item like uh, the Hand of Vecna from D&D? It's like a magic item, like a magic spell item that you can only use if you have one arm or, or like no arms. And it uh, like drastically increases, drastically increases your magic damage. Arm yourself, bro, I'm missing one. <laughs> That guy who picked up an arm, I'm just gonna stick it on there. I have, I have an arm. Like, I have one right here. So, I, I don't, I don't see what the problem is. I have two arms. Um, um, okay, so what am I doing now then? I guess I should just, uh, cut some heads, hey? And we can, we can start getting some. Oh, he was carrying in fear. That's cute. We can start getting some heads, and so we can start getting some of these abilities. Bear trap. Got attack body. Cool, 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 cool. I can't kill the priest yet. Oh, I, I, I could kill the priest yet, but I just don't want to fight him fairly. Like, why would you ever fight him fairly? Um, let's do these guys. Nice. There we go. Like, I only ever fight those priests if I can blow their arms off first because I start casting magic and it's just, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> like, what is it hurting? Can, like, blow your, blow extra limbs off? And I, you know, I'm, I'm down to one. I don't want to, I don't want to risk that. Sacrifice bow arm, both arms. You can no longer hold weapons, but your unarmed damage goes up 100%. Why would it go up though? You're just hitting them with stumps. <laughs> Love, hate the bone saw sound effect. It's so gross. Get some glass shards. Don't you have an ability of uh, stitch and cut arms if you miss one, but there'll be a negative or it could be temporary. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting how you would balance that. Because missing limbs should be a big deal, right? And it's less of a big deal in this game because of Sylvian circles, so you can sort of, it's its a lot easier to, but it's still limited, right? You can only, there's only so many Sylvian circles, and if you do Sylvian, you're, you're not doing other things. Um, where's Karen? Shouldn't Karen be here? Hmm. 
Mustn't have hit the trigger then. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how you would balance actually attaching a limb. Maybe it'll be like Magna Medical, where you can only do it in the fight where they lost it. Dried meat, yum yum. Where was he keeping the dried meat? That's actually kind of disgusting. Is it like his flesh? Doesn't the priest crucify you if you lose to him? Yes, he does. Um... And he cuts off your legs. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous. I always viewed limb cutting in this as something that's not really, like, canon. It's more of just a gameplay thing. Because, you know, in real life, if you, if you, if an arm or a leg or something gets cut off, then you, you go into shock really quickly and you die very quickly. Because you just lose so much blood. Um... So like if you're crucified on a pole, missing both legs, um, particularly the legs because of the massive arteries in there, right? If you just get cut the wrong way on your leg, you die. Um, because there's that, uh, what's the artery called? I can't remember what it's called. I'm not a medical guy. What do I look like? I'm not even a human. How would I know what the arteries are called? Um. But yeah, so I always, always took that as more of a gameplay thing than like an actual, like that's that's literally what's happening. Let's kill these guys, I want some heads. <clears throat> Michael looked pregnant from the side. <laughs> He's boy pregnant. He's boy preggers. Oh, I should steal from these guys, they have food, don't they? Anyone who could even possibly survive the seven limb is Dan, and even that's a slim chance. Yeah, does he look... Does he look preggers? Does he? I guess a little bit. I guess all, all the characters have a little bit of a bulge at their tummy. Just from the art style. Marco is canonically a big boy. He is canonically a big boy. But he's also really fit. He's got, he's got very little fat on him. Search. What do we got? Drive me. Sorry. Oh, Mike, I rocking that beer belly. He might have a beer belly, yeah. <laughs> it's a growing boy, I said, with 31 year old man, yeah. It's just baby fat. He's fine. He's a growing boy. Who wants another meat pie, huh? Who wants another meat pie? Do you want a meat pie, Marco? Eat up. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yeah. <laughs> These his pies do not deprive him, yeah. <laughs> Man, slamming down meat pies. That's a dream, isn't it? Accurate Italian dad bod. Yeah, he's just got dad bod. <laughs> Which character has the most dad bod? I, I'm afraid I think it's actually Caligura. Who, who would actually be the best dad, I think, would be Caligura. Why are these people- why are these people carrying seven arms and seven legs? Here comes the train, Marco! Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, this is awful. What are we doing? Wouldn't it be August? No, he's fit as as well. What do we steal? Yoink! Solid egg. Fuck yeah! Give me that egg! Yeah, August- August is definitely ripped. Do you see him like- um, like parkouring across, across Preheval. Good to play as Caligari, he should have good evasion. He's so excellently slimy. He slip out a monster's grip like a slug. <laughs> oh wow, he's not dead yet. He would, he is very greasy, isn't he? Tobacco, oh, tobacco, nice. Carry extra limbs as a snack. That's true. They, they probably do. Dried meat. Really makes you question what this dried meat... Oh, shit. God damn it. God damn it. 
I hate that. I really hate that. Karen's not here. I wonder what the trigger is then. Unless she's just not on, on day one morning. Maybe she's like midday. Oh well. Levi has my dad went to get cigarettes vibe. <laughs> to be fair though, it's because he's got severe PTSD. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Not fighting you. Let's go trade these heads. I was hoping for a death mask. Um, I want their I want their armor. I won't be able to kill it yet, but I do want their armor. Um, yeah. You know this god is a sulfur cultist who became a new god. Because all the sulfur cultists want heads for some reason. And if you ask the new gods about this one, they say that, you know, she was something different. Craft item. Go. Ooh, I can craft a brown vial. That's nice. Ooh, I can, start, I can craft some goulash. Let's go. Goulash boys. Goulash bros. Let's go. Trigger is on the riverbank, I think. I missed her a couple of times since I don't want to go all the way to the slums. Yeah, hmm. Okay. Levi has that random college boy you don't talk to, but you see him one night crying outside because he burnt the microwave energy. Yeah, he would. <laughs> he wants head? Yeah, well, she. She wants head. God of HR Geiger. Yeah. Well, the god is like an explicit reference to Cenobites. She says some lines that are like straight from the Cenobites, which makes sense that it's like a self occultism. That's how you use heads? Yeah, that's what you use them for. Um, contestant heads, though. When you get the heads of, of other contestants, you use them differently. Um, but regular people's heads, that's what you use them for. Although, if you get the woodsman's head and the priest's head from the mayor's house, you can trade them to uh, the guy in the slums and you can get um, a unique item. Do I want to do this fight? I kind of don't want to do this fight. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Um, let's heal up a little bit. Nope, 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 nope. Mm. Okay, let's go. All right, come on, you bastard. Talk, skills, wrench toss, his arm. In case this fails, because it, de it definitely can fail. The amount of times I've had this fail is shockingly high. And I never want to fight Vile probably because he's just annoying. <laughs> Can't you one turn Vile? Yes, I'm doing it right now. There we go. Find a moldy bread. And oh, no, I can't cut up his head, can I? Okay. Um, but, 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 let's kill her as well. Where'd she go? Here. There we go. I'll have another knife, please. Oh, two shillings. Okay. Got a vodka, ornamental lantern. Let's go fly. I'm an eater. Thank you very much. There go. Now let's sleep, I think. I think that's all we can do now is to sleep. Um, let me think. Is there anything else I want to do first? Um, I can't use the rifle to kill the priest, and I can't get the head anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just sleeping now. Wait, is there a bed here? No, other house. Whoops. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Um. Yes, this way. This way. Could go to the woodsman's house, I suppose. I might be fast to go to the woodsman's house, actually. Yeah, let's do that. To read Marco a bedtime story? Sure, what bedtime story does should we read him? I could Sylvian in here actually. Do I want to do do, do I want a Sylvian yet? Um I could take out that priest then, couldn't I? But I guess there's no point in me taking out the priest because I don't have a I don't have a I don't have a bone saw to to, to cut his head off yet, so there's 
How much point is there? I can get a bone saw from the orphanage. That might be the way to go. Abella will read him Ikea menu. Abella actually really likes romance. You can tell from her... New Palms 11 Torment. Okay. You can tell from her... Um, from her party talk dialogue. She'll often talk about romance and stuff like that. So she would actually read... She'd read you a, a romance book. The Giving Tree. Taylor Pocket Cat. We could do the Taylor Pocket Cat. Bedtime story where a person falls in love with a goat mummy. That's both an Undertale and Fear and Hunger reference. Oh god, the worst, the worst combination. <laughs> Thank you, Pokeli. Okay. Uh, do I want anything else? What, I have... It's, it's funny how you get two abilities from, from Caligura when you're playing as Marco. Um, is there anything else I even want? I don't know. Barefisted proficiency, don't really need that. Bob and Weave, don't really want that. Don't want that. Don't want any of these, really. Make perfect guard, but... Hmm. I might save my... My soul coins, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might save my soul coins. Never miss, huh? Maybe agility plus one. That's always useful to have, isn't it? We'll get agility. Meat grinder! Blink dagger! Get lunar meteorite. That might be fun. What's this ability? Oh, that's Chains of Torment, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but, but Red Arc... Moth Swarm. I don't really want either of those. If you... If you really know a lot about a character, I'm surprised you would identify it online, good sir. What you mean? I am chronically online, yes. Didn't mean to send that to Mao. Oh. <laughs> Why did Marco have both of his hands when he was sleeping? Um... It's an optical illusion. That's a rare trick. Don't believe it. Uh, let's save. That's a good start. Let's save. Uh, this one. Oops. Goodbye. Pocket Cat is aiming for Marco's unborn child. No, we must protect him. Imagine being born and your parents are like, son, we need to stick, stick DIY tools into the DPS for naming you Meat Grinder. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, they say your name determines your future. <laughs> That's what I called you Meat Grinder. Meat Grinder. Okay. Um, let's go see the mayor. Man, I haven't played with... I, I, I reset my game files, so now I have the mist back. Because I didn't have the mist for a while, thanks to a mod that Albines Jones sent me. And, uh, man... <laughs> Man, I I I am missing the mod right now. <laughs> this mist is like really I don't like it. <laughs> it's too it's too much. It's too much. Okay, let's go see the mayor. Oh, the priest is out and about, isn't he? Uh maybe I should have Sylvian so I can kill this fucker. Oh well. Wakey wakey Marco, time for school. And he runs out of bread with a piece of moldy runs out of runs out of bed with a piece of moldy bread in his mouth. Oh no, I'm gonna be late. What determines exactly what you look like when you become moon scorched? I believe now I may be wrong, but I believe moon scorching is how you see yourself. Um, with some exceptions. Um, well, we don't know what August and Pavs looks like because they haven't been revealed yet. They're not in game. They die before they moon scorch, no matter what you do. Um, Pavs is coming though, so I'm pretty keen for that. Um, Dan's, uh, he doesn't technically moon scorch. He gets turned into a servant of rare. Um... So it is a little bit different. He does a deal with Rare and becomes the new Pocket Cat, which is spoilers. But 
everybody knows by now, so. Um, so yeah, it seems to be like what you, what you view yourself as, positive or negative. Um, Karen literally calls herself a Valkyrie for immortalizing the soldiers on the battlefield, and she turns into a Valkyrie. It's a, it's a Finnish version of a Valkyrie, but it is one. Abella sees herself as, as big and masculine, and so she becomes that. Um, Marco sees himself as a bruiser who's who's tied to his sister, so he, he becomes that. Um, so, yeah, no, there's, there's, that's, that's what it seems to be. It, oh, hang on. You know, maybe maybe it's not exactly that. But, um... Find last frontier, don't need that. Dried meat, give me something good, please. Blue herb, uh... Give me something good, I'd like something good. If Dan had his way with Moon Scorch form, we would just turn into a crying mess and that's lame. <laughs> he may have. <laughs> Skin Bible Ormium. All right. All right. Don't need that, but we'll take it. Levi sees himself as a flute. No, he sees himself as a weapon of war, but also obsessed with heroin. So that's why he becomes the, the weeping scope, because the, the scope itself is like a heroin needle, isn't it? Embryos. Snakes. Rainy day. Too easy. Okay. Duct tape, nice. Ammo, nice. Dried meat, egg, and two shillings. Let's go. Caligura literally becomes a testing with many hands lurking in the sewers, which implies that he is a, a sexual assault predator, and he absolutely is that. Because we see him like do that um, to Abella. Or he tries to, to a bell, or at least when you play as her. So he just sees himself as, like, a, a monster that just, you know, rapes everybody. Which is, you know, that's, that's what he is. So. <laughs> so at least he's honest, right? Come back for you later, buddy. When I have a saw blade to cut off his head. It is a little odd that it's only bone swords that can cut off people's heads. Um, I feel like if you had any bladed weapon, you should be able to do that. But, oh, gameplay. Dude. Osar becomes an onion because he's a big fan of Shrek. Exactly. No, no, no. He becomes the mastermind because he sees himself as just controlled by, um, by outside forces, no matter what he does. Specifically... Specifically, Nashra. Do, 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 do. Can I, like... Do I have to come... Do I have to access it from this side? Oh, you do. Oh, there you go. Do, 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 do. Levi should be in here. We can recruit Levi. Hey, buddy. You okay? Uh, you've injected yourself with something. Ba, 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 ba. Anything I can do? Get heroin. Here we go. All right. I I completely forgot about this. This is a good way to to get another party member. I can white bar. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna take the gun off you, buddy, because you are a heroin addict. You can have an axe instead. That's safer. It's safer that you have a big axe, isn't it? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now you can hold my other meat grinder. And now I just need Osar. I'm not going to pick up Osar definitely because you sort of see Osar before you, before you can get the last bench grinder. So, Well, not before. He's right next to it. Meat pie, booby trap. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, do I have a key? Oh, I guess not. Attack, skills, wrench toss that, and here we go. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, so that has something to do with pain, personal growth, is literally breaking a glass ceiling. Yeah, well, he's, um, from the impression I get, and, and this will probably change once we actually find out his real backstory, you know, when we, when we can play as him. 
Let's leave this stuff. I don't want to come back here. Um, it'll probably change when we when we come back and and do and and play as him. We find a bit more about his uh, his backstory. Um, but what I suspect is that he's because he's called Judgment and he's got a, a whip. Um, what I suspect it is is that he's really harsh on himself and he can't ever he can't ever achieve the things he thinks he needs to. Both for the the glass ceiling. But also because he thinks he's not good enough. And that's why he's, he's, he's got a whip, because it's self-flagellation. Oh, pickle hole. Let's go. Oh, that's worse than what I've got. Um, Levi, you can have it. No, I need to keep a, a, a Bella alive, don't I? So you can have this. Baited, debated. Let's go. Strongest foe, a door. Let me run. Let me run. Ah, let go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Henrik is a chef, and I think Moonscorch being like a glutton, a knife and a fork, antlers. Well, no. See, he's uh, a gentleman. Um. He's a gourmand. Imagine like um, ba, 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 Hannibal Lecter. Similar situation to that. This is what you use the contestant heads for, by the way. You can trade them to get um, to get more uh, soulstone shards, but you can also trade them with pocket cap. Give me this, please. Meat mallet. It's not bad, actually. This early in the game is not bad. Um, you can have the meat mallet. Deals more damage than the axe and has a chance to stun, which is very nice. Okay, so what am I doing? What am I actually doing? Um... Mm. Why does Henry become the most sane mayor, though? Well, see, you don't have to become crazy when you become Moon Scorched. And there is a different influence happening in the mayor's manner. There's also the darkness, which is the result of the God of the Depths. So he may not be entirely Moon Scorched. That's the thing. We see the influence of multiple gods in this game, and we refer to these people as Moon Scorch, but they may not technically be Moon Scorch. They may be transformed by the other gods, which is where it throws a bit of a wrench in some of the theories. Um, so it is a little hard to tell exactly what's going on with some of these people. Uh, we may find out a bit more because Miro said that he does want to so there's there's some ideas that that weave throughout all the games so there's some ideas that come from fear and hunger one and fear and hunger two and will be in fear and hunger three but there are some ideas that will be isolated specifically to termina and it's some of those ideas that miro said he would like to expand upon and explain a bit better because otherwise there's not going to be a chance to explain it like are we going to find out more about festivals in term in fear and hunger three probably not because we didn't find out much more about the dungeon at all in this game. So, or, or more about Mahab, really. So, you know, there's, there's certain things that are sort of stuck in a single game, no matter what. Um, so he was going to expand on that. And I hope he expands on what the fuck is happening with Moon Scorching, right? Oh, yeah, there's, there's almost certainly going to be Fear and Hunger 3. I think the only thing that, that will stop Fear and Hunger 3 from happening is Miro dying. <laughs> Um, he said that he always envisioned the games as a, as a trilogy. Um, so we, we'll almost certainly get a Fear and Hunger 3 after, and this, this would be well after 2 is finished, right? Like, you know, there's still a lot he wants to do for, for, for Termina. So it'll, it'll be a long time before we even get a hint of what 3 is going to be. Um... So, you know, it's, 
it's 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 fun to think about but there's no like nothing zero thing set in stone for fear and hunger 3 you know it could it, it may not even be set after terminator it could be set before right so um no not here pray for mirror to always be in good health yeah yeah no 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 yes we we do we we pray for mirror to be in good health but the the realistic fact is you know you can always have a, a car accident tomorrow right hey, hey shit dogs are scared of me now good i hate you shit dogs you've actually you've legitimately ruined so many runs Ooh, officer sword nice i like that quip Start with there we go and you need your rank back. Do you think these games will get DLC? No, not DLC. Uh, Miro has explicitly said he does not like DLC. So we'll keep getting updates. Absolutely, we'll keep getting updates. There's a big update being worked on right now as we speak. And the plan is to get every contestant playable. So at the very least... At the very... Oh, bone saw, nice. At the very least, even if we don't get new areas or new items or whatever... Well, we, we are getting a new a new area in the next update, but after that, even at the very least, we're getting all the all the characters playable. Um, but no, uh, Miro has said he doesn't like the idea of DLC, so I would be very surprised if we get any DLC. I wouldn't mind it, like you know, after the game is finished, right? I wouldn't be opposed to Miro like putting out a, a special DLC for a little bit more money because this updating a game for like years after it's come out is 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 a pretty big effort. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed if he if he did want to put out um put out DLC later. But I I would be surprised if if he did. Um, I'm gonna tag along. Here we go. Up, up. Rare stalking you on Twitter or something in the third game. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Rare's done actually. I don't think we're getting Rare back. I get the I get the impression in this game that Rare is just sort of checked out. I think Pad might be the strongest late game contestant with his ability to turn three other party members into a free turn. It is pretty good. Um, I think Osar has some of the best power scaling though. Because he, um, because he can supercharge any spell. The only issue is it just takes all game to get all the different spells. But once you do have them, Osa, but like by default, like you know, assuming you're not getting any other any other contestants' abilities. Um, trap. Uh, Spice Forge is just obscene. For late game, just ridiculous. I'm gonna have to fight one of these, aren't I? Oh, I hate these things. There we go. Um, but some people really excel at the start. Like you know, Marco and Abella are just fantastic at the start, right? I think Abella might have the strongest start if you get wrench toss on her. Wrench toss is just insane at the start. Scale like trails are pretty hard. Um, but until then, it's, it's insane. Whereas Marco stays a bit more consistent with his punching. Just a bit. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Good morning, Vike. How you doing? Hang on, you were here before. Why are you saying good morning? <laughs> Not sure, I guess the platform. Yeah, he'd get cancelled. He'd get cancelled on Logic Twitter. <laughs> I think game wrench toss is strongest skill in the game. I, I'm tempted to agree. Yeah, I think I think wrench toss might be the strongest ability in in the early game. The moment you hit the city, it starts falling off pretty hard, and it's basically useless late game. Um, but early game, it might legit be the strongest ability. Bone saw. Bone saw. Oh, we're getting more bone saws. This is, this is good. This is good news. Okay. Up, 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 up. It was always a good morning. That's a good point. It was always a good morning. That's a good attitude to have. <laughs> Bookshelf. 
I can believe volume one. Sick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where is... Oh, whoops. Uh, shit, this isn't good. Um... <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Jesus Christ. Oh man, those dogs, these uh, these creatures, you'd never want to fight them if you can help it. They have some really bullshit attacks. Despite being so weak, they just they have some some pretty crazy bullshit, so. But they and they go down with a single pistol shot. So it's always better to shoot them outside of combat. Always. Is it this one, right? I think it's this one. I never say good morning, because if it was a good morning, I'd be fishing. Here we go. We found it. We found it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just legally change my name to Vike at this point if you keep getting my name wrong so you can be right. If you change your name to Vike, I'll start calling you Vic. <laughs> I'll call you Vic if you want. I just like joshing, jerking around, being a japester. It's kind of weird the game encourages you to use a gun in the school. <laughs> if anybody makes an American joke, you're getting muted. All the other sheriffs with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, outrun my gun. Chowdna. Chowdna is an interesting fight. I'm not looking forward to doing it on Masso mode, to be honest. Um, Mods, mute that streamer. He's making American school jokes. <laughs> Mods, ban this streamer. Ban this streamer right now. Well, see, that's an interesting thing, Rebel Wolf. Uh, we don't know what sainthood entails in Fear and Hunger. Um, and Domek is a vampire. And vampires in Fear and Hunger are different from regular vampires. Sort of the only thing we know about vampires is that they are bad in some way. So bad that regular townsfolk want to kill them. Or have tried in the past. Um, so he might be like, you know, 500 years old or whatever, but we, we, we don't know much about what's happened. So he may have died in the past and then come back to life. But there's a lot that's unclear. So it, it so there's, there's sort of two options. He's died in the past and come back to life, which we know, which we suspect vampires can do. Um, and, or it could be that saints are, uh, can be living things in the world of fear and hunger. Um, that's something that's not really clear at all. So what does farming the heads do? You trade the heads to a new God and you get soul stone shards. And when you get three soul stone shards, you can craft it into a soul stone. And then for each soul stone, you can you can buy a new ability. So how the hell do we get to discussing vampires? So um, there is so there's I don't think Domek is ever explicitly called a vampire. I might be wrong with that, um, but you can find a sword in the church that talks about uh, vampire hunts. Vampire hunters trying, and this sword is used to defend from vampire hunters. Used by the church to defend from vampire hunters. So that means that there were vampires in the church that the vampire hunters wanted to get. Oops. Um, and Domek, we see Domek die actually. On day one morning, if you go to the church, you'll see Samarie kill Domek. 
and he melts. He doesn't die, he melts. And the church is used as... I don't remember exactly where this comes from. I'm pretty sure this is mentioned in game. I may be wrong. Um... Because I'm not, I'm not super up to date with my vampire lore. Um... How many bone saws do I have left? Am I out? I think, oh shit, I think, I think I'm out of bone saws. I am. Oh well. Oh, we can, we can pick up one more. I'll, we can pick up one more, um, underneath. Let's just drop down. Um. Um. And yeah, Domek is said to be a vampire because he, uh, can do that. Because he doesn't die. Okay. So this is what we do with the heads. So we give an offering. You have 48 severed heads in your possession. Do you want to sacrifice them all? Yes. Sab that's it. It was Sabbath. That's right. Thank you, Morthcat. That's what it was called. It was the Sabbath sword. How do we have enough storage for this many heads? It's gonna take more than two trips. That's a good point, actually, yeah. Okay, so now we have a bunch of soulstone shards, and now I can craft a 16. So now I have <laughs> I have a shitload. <laughs> Ooh, I can make uh here we go. Mixed herbs. Mixed herbs is one of the better healing items you can get. It's really good. Kaiser might also be a vampire. So so there is a theory that the Kaiser is from. He isn't just Lagarde become a new god. He is the resurrected, undead Lagarde become a new god. And if that's the case, he may be the source of all vampires. So it may be the case that resurrected, using this special resurrection spell, um, using this special resurrection spell, you become what is known as a vampire. There is a little bit more evidence for this because in Donovan's house, another priest, um, you find basically uh, his his shed corpse because when 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 Lagarde is reborn, he emerges from his body like a cocoon, and is all sort of fleshy and gross. You see the shell of a body in Donovan's house. But the thing is, when we fight Hugo Donovan, he doesn't, he doesn't melt. So it's like, what's going on there? I don't know. <laughs> Dust ending S, yes. It might be canon, but it might not be. It's super, it's super unclear. All we see is when you, when you, when you're fighting Yellow King and you use the ability Rot on him, he changes to be the fleshy, he looks like a flesh golem, which is what it looks like in Dars's ending S. But that's the only hint. I don't know if it's strong enough. I, I I like to think it is because that's really interesting. But I would like to see more evidence of it. Right now, I don't think it's clear enough. Um, let's use some b -b 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 wine vials. Healing wine vials. Here we go. Okay. Uh, a bit hungry too. Use the 13 meat pies. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, do I want to do anything else down here? Oh, yes. I want that. Yeah. Bone saw. Here we go. Take it. Cool. I don't need any more. I don't, I don't think I need any more um, abilities for now, do I? More, any more soul stones for now, so I think I'm fine. I don't need to cut any heads for a while. It's just a theory, a game theory. One of my darkest secrets, my, my guilty pleasures is I really enjoy watching game theory. I, I, le I legitimately enjoy watching game theory. I think I think he's fantastic, Matt Pat. I haven't watched his other stuff. Well, like, I think they've got, well, they've got food theory, they've got movie theory, and now they have fashion theory as well. I haven't watched any of those. Oh. What do they do that for? What do they do that for? Come on. Come on. Here we go. There we go. And last one. Boom. Dead. Um, cool. A game theory. 
<laughs> Akamili Volume 2, sick. A lot of good books. Find Skin Bible Vanushka. Do I want do I need Vanushka? I don't really need Vanushka. Just in case, because because Abella is tricky, she can stun. Um, I'm gonna book an enlightenment. Yeah, here we go. Could <laughs> take a dump BRB. Thanks, bro. Let us know how it goes. What? All this time, this was your plan. Goodbye. Never forget that Ness is Sans Undertale. That's one hundred percent true. Yeah. We really have to do this? Yes, we do. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to record this. I can't believe I almost forgot this. There we go. Bench grinder. She can set up bear traps with her other hand too, so it's good to get rid of that. Oh, you shouldn't have attacked Levi. Fucking idiot. Bye bye, Abella. Soul absorb the caressing soul. Affinity with Grove Roth has increased. Nice. I can't get ahead, can I? No. Okay, that's a wrap. Ba, 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 ba. Can you kill Hugo by shooting him? I don't think so. I think he, um, I think he no sells it. Levi got that junkie rage, he does. Might as well get this talisman while we're here. <laughs> you can? I remember it saying that he's like, he just stands there and laughs at you. It might still damage him though. Right? This way? I don't want to fight these things. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, shit. I have to fight this one, don't I? Skills. Please don't cut my other arm off. He doesn't care, but it does hurt. Okay. Levi has special dialogue. Oh, I've been meaning to check this. Last time I last time I came here and I wanted to get Levi dialogue, Levi died from the uh, from the cherubs before I could. Which is really annoying. Can you die already, please? Oh my god, why is this taking so long? Father Hugo is a marriage? Uh, don't know. Probably not. Um, they look weird, but I don't think that they are marriages, the priests. Uh, okay, so what do I have for healing? Uh, yeah, you can have a light blue vial. There you go. Um, alright, party talk. Dun, dun, dun. Levi's shaking and sweating. Something about this place makes him very uncomfortable. How did we get here? I, I, I left the front. The war ended, right? <laughs> Fucked up. Poor Levi. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I do wonder what's going on here. This seems a bit weird why this is in the orphanage. Yep. Hunger effigy. Let's go. 
I think the effigies should, when you're carrying them, they should increase, like, how fast your hunger goes down, how fast, how fast your mind goes down. I think they should do that. I think that would be really cool. One thing I know for certain is that the priests aren't celibate. They, <laughs> they are not. No. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Oh shit. Um, do I have a trap? Do I have a trap? I have a booby trap. Shit. Okay. Oh, see ya. I'm not coming back this way. <laughs> Let's go get Osar before we do the mob, actually. That will be... Getting Osar first would be much easier. Empty. Lame. Lame. Lame, 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 lame. You can run past... You can dodge the mob almost anywhere they show up. So... Not... Always everywhere, but most everywhere. Oh, they didn't show up. There you go. Run meat. Run meat. Thank you. Can't pick up that glass for some reason. Keep going, buddy. I don't want to fight you. Bye. Marina and Levi have special library dialogue. Which library are you talking about? The bookstore? Fight you. I'll fight you though. Attack, get rid of that. Attack, get rid of that. Goodbye. Too easy. Is there a fear of guns in this game? I think that'd be a cool phobia to have. Oh, I don't want to fight you. No shit, he. I don't think this does much damage, but I still don't want to take it, so. Um, can we talk to him? Let's talk to him. Oh, he's fast. I guess Levi's pretty slow, isn't he? Okay. I'm going to steal from him. Okay, here we go. If I want to leave him one second on Hot Topic and he's decked out with earrings and MCR merch, 100%. Six 9 mil bullets? Let's go. You're a single dad taking your son to the town market, yeah. Uh, we don't need to fight. You're wrong. That's exactly what is expected from everybody who takes part in this. Oh, okay. Goodbye then. Imagine if only Osar could have fear of technology because of his background, which could include guns. That would be interesting. Yeah, fear of technology. Instead of just like a fear of guns, right? And then certain enemies could trigger it like, um, like, um, bup, 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 Olivia. Moonscorch Olivia could trigger it. Would you tag along? I have a condition. Now that I can move around freely, it would be good to see what's just happening here. Come along then, let's go. She's part of my party now. <laughs> How can she walk? Well, well, no, no, no. She's not walking. She's running. Her condition means that she can't that she can't walk, but it doesn't say anything about running, right? <laughs> Wait a second, you're not Olivia. Want me to scratch your eyes out? That's kind of hot. That's not good. Take out these arms ASAP, please. So she doesn't like get irritation or something, which 
There we go. Okay. Ah, why are you doing this? Olivia wouldn't say that. She would say that, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is Leva gonna die? Oh! Holy shit, that was so close. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh... <laughs> If we didn't end it that turn, Levo would have died from the poison. We're absolute goat. Absolutely goaded. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, Alchemy Volume 1, mix of red and blue and a green herb. That's pretty good. Oops. Was that my only bone saw? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, god damn it. Fucking bone saw cracked. That's so bullshit. And we'll get attacked about here. Here. Levi's just built like that. He's just built different, isn't he? Now, these guys, you need to take out their arms first turn. If you don't, then you're just fucking owned. Uh, was that changed? Because I never used to be able to do that first turn. Goodbye. We're not fighting him. That our spirit will one-shot you. It will just one-shot you. You can probably guard it, but I don't want to find out. So. Jesus. Hey, Shiro. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hey, frog. Frog. Rug. Okay, yeah, never once have I ever seen those guys do that first turn. Just popping and dropping a like. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Red herb. Red herb. Okay. Totally one shot of me early today. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't fuck around, does it? So the secret with Centaur is you don't need to fight it. And in fact you should never fight Centaur. There is no reason to fight Centaur, and it is just pain. So you don't actually have to fight it. Oh, we got a bone saw in here, don't we? Don't mind if I do. We can go back and get Olivia's head there. The doppelganger heads count as as real heads for Pocket Cat. He doesn't know the difference. God damn it. Mouse too scared of a centaur? I'm not scared of it. I just I just don't like pointless fights. Where is... Oh, I got a gas can. Nice. Where is the other... I need one more gas can. This way. This way. Um, I, I, I still have PTSD from the center. Plank shield. Oh, nice. From when it was... um When it was bugged. And the, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's stampede attack couldn't, like, didn't have much damage lowered at all by guarding or, or defense. So it, it would just destroy you. It still hits really hard too, but it was even worse before. Three chainsaws versus centaur. Think about it. The views. Hmm, that's true. Come on, let me through, let me through. <laughs> that's so good, that, that shortcut. <laughs> Was that you, Raccoon, that posted the video about that? I did give you credit. Oh, there's a there's a delay. There's a delay on YouTube. Okay. Come on. Come on, Stitches. I'm not fighting you fucking Stitches. You can get fucked. Seriously. I am not fighting Stitches. Zero point to fighting Stitches. Even without the shortcut, you don't need to fight Stitches, so... So many people in this game, it's like, you just don't actually have to fight this person, so... Someone told me in the demo, Olivia hinted that she was bi, just like me. I want to hug her for that. Um... I think that comes... I don't... I don't know. I haven't heard about that. I, I, I suspect that comes from... There is a, a dialogue choice when you go to confession. Um... 
And if Osar is there... If Osar is there, he will uh, do will ruse you, and you, you can, like, confess to him. And uh, you can say you have a crush on your sister, but there's only two people that actually have sisters. Um, it's Olivia and Marco, so it could be either of them. Um, but I don't know if there was dialogue in the in the demo that explicitly said that or not. Um, I don't I don't think I actually played the demo. Now that I think about it. Did I play the demo? No, no. I I I specifically didn't play the demo, so I, it, the whole game would be fresh. That's right. Uh, how many double encounters are there? I don't know. Three, Olivia, Levi, Tanaka. Um, I think that might be it in the game. Maybe there's a fourth one. I remember people saying there's a fourth one, but that might be referring to Karen, yeah. Can't you choose to say it's either a boy or a girl with her when Osara is trolling you? Um, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done that scene. I thought the confession thing was the same for everybody. Yes, it is the same for everybody. Um, but it's it's bizarre that you can specifically mention that when there's only a few people that only have confirmed party members, uh, family members. That's what people are saying. I don't really, I don't know. I think it's just a bit of a joke, but. Mm. Okay. I'm not doing this ending, but it's it's useful just to turn it on. Uh, I might have to buy a short circuit, I think. Okay, I think I have... Now I just need to do mob, don't I? I might go back to the train and, and save. And get some, get some abilities. Why is he green? Because it's funny. Oh, I need Olivia's hair too, don't I? Yeah, let's go do that. That's on the way. Okay. What's up here? Nothing. Green herb, don't care. Blue herb, I care about that. Yup. This area is a swamp, by the way. Olivia says that when you come out here and you party talk with her. She's like, this area is a swamp. That's why it's so misty. So we might actually get the swamp in a future update. I think that'd be cool. I like swampy areas. They're pretty nice. Hang on, hang on. I saw his health as well, isn't it? Um, blue vial. Yeah, that should be enough. And we'll equip you with a uh, pickle hob, and you can get the chack chack. Why is his magic attack so high? What? Hang on. What is going on here? That's not right. Why does that say 700? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> God. <laughs> it must be a glitch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it's a visual bug. Magic attack does 9999 damage to moon. Let's have a video to show you at some point. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. He's been he's been doing his training. That's, that's all right. Bloody hell. Olivia. Da, 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 da. Actually, I'm not going to go get Olivia yet because I don't want to deal with that. Deal with that uh, cultist yet. Uh, I'll deal with this one though. I should be able to take this one out quickly. Okay. Did we work it out of the library? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now we can't do the fucking owl attack. Good, 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 good. Training in the hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> uh, okay. Ten shillings, nice. 
go. Let's go. It is kind of weird how bone saws can break when they're sort of mandatory. To, well, they're not mandatory to play the game, but they're they're pretty important for the game. I don't like ladders in this one. I preferred ladders in the first game. They were better. Who's poison? Oh, right. Uh, meat grinder is poisoned. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Osa found Levi's stash. Yeah. Yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> Ooh, mushrooms. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Should I go kill Henrik before I save? Nah. Nah. Okay. Let's have a little nappy nap. Osa is a Snoop Dogg reference. What? <laughs> Uh, Hexen, yes. Okay, so I need all of these because I need weapon craft, so I, I just need to get all of these. Okay. I don't really care. I don't really care about anything else, do I? Not really. Cause I just, I just sort of want this. I might as well, hmm. I might as well get perfect guard actually. Cause we're gonna be fighting, gonna be fighting the mob soon, and perfect guard's kind of useful against them. Um, hmm. <laughs> Is there anything? I don't think there is anything else I need. I think we're pretty fine. Breaking news, Marco took a nap. He had a wonderful time more at day three. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, necromancy hurt. I don't really want any, any of the rest of this. I think we're good. Got one plus attack. There we go. Levi's a quiet kid at the back of the classroom. Yeah, the quiet kid you, you secretly don't want to fuck with because he's got a fucking gun in his bag. Melee proficiency and Sylvian healing. That would be nice, yeah. Um, okay. Craft weapons. Okay, so I need... I need one more bench grinder. I need two more saw blades and three scrap metal. So now we're probably going to have to save scum a little bit to get this stuff because it is RNG. But I have left all of those open. So let's go get... Actually, let's go to the mob first. Let's go to the mob first and get the final bench grinder and then save again and then start getting the, the other bits we need. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run, better run, outrun my gun. Yo, let's go this way. It'll be faster. Up, up, up. Just got here. One of them is. Hey, Jose. Jose. Um, it's really dark. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> dogs don't care. Don't care about the dogs. Go get out of the way, frog. Um, we're hunting. We're hunting for shit. Um, you guard. You attack the arm, you attack the arm. Our sprite can just like behead you. So I'm just gonna keep spamming guard here. Cool, 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 cool. Marina as an otaku scares me. That is kind of terrifying, isn't it? Please break the arms. Good, good, good. Okay, well, I guess breaking the arms after the, after the spirit is summoned doesn't really make much difference. <laughs> I 
Okay. Okay, so the out flash is the turn before it will use the move. Okay. We can finish this fight now anyway, so. go. Oh, awful. Lucky coin, nice. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's heal up, I think. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Everyone's kind of low. Um, yeah, you can have that. Cool. Have you ever heard of Naruto? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marina, Marina, instead of doing the, the god carving, she does the Naruto headband carvings instead. Why is everyone poisoned? Am I out of white vials already? Oh my goodness, I am. <laughs> Wait, no, wrong thing, wrong thing. Here they are. Kelagura is a bully jock. He absolutely is. Um, so we have to watch out for... There is a trap on the ground here that will just instantly kill you. Here it is. You can kind of see it. There it is. If you step there... Then you... Hang on, can you hear that? Can you hear that? They're singing, I can hear the singing. Let's go, let's go visit the lady. I want to visit the lady. Ah, we didn't get him in time. We didn't get him in time. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, me grind you to spam guard then. Marco is the jock who stands up for the bullied kids. He's, yeah, he's, he's the cool jock. He's, he's a bit dumb, but he's still a good guy. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Levi. <laughs> Have a World War II nerd that's way too into it. He's he's one of the cool kids too, but he secretly he secretly laps on the weekends. Hang on, can I not get over there? Hang on, how do you get over there? Now that I think about it, I've never been over that way. This way? No? No? Do you need undergrowth awareness to do it? Have is what 4chaners would call a wearaboo, a weeaboo, but for Axis Germany. <laughs> he totally would be. <laughs> Karen runs the school newspaper. Wait, can I, can I not get over there? Do you need, like, undergrowth awareness or something? This way? No? Oh. Cool. Didn't know that was here. Nothing. Sick. Hmm. Oh, fuck. What the hell is that? God damn it. <laughs> that got me. Actually, you know what? Let's just wail on his body since we, we can't take out his arms first turn anyway. Maybe we can kill his body quickly. Not quite. Okay. God. Go to the temple looking building. Oh, she's at the temple. Okay. Don't poison dart me, you son of a bitch. God damn it. Can you not? How is this fucking dude not dead yet? Aggressive flute solo. Yeah. <laughs> Marina writes fan fiction of her OTP. She would. What is this? Another one? Goodness gracious. They sneak up on you. Oh, 
I started as an exchange student who already learned what they're learning in class. He, there, there would be, but there would be some classes. Like, he would absolutely nail some classes, but other classes he would just be really confused in. Like, he'd be like, wow, you guys are really dumb. You don't know this basic stuff when it's, like, about history and whatever. Then when there's, like, you know, computer class, he's like, I am terrified of actually touching this computer. <laughs> Lucky coin, nice. Walks would be the mysterious one that skips grades, but skips classes, but somehow has high grades. He'd be a teacher. He'd he'd totally be a teacher. August. Wow, I'm actually running out of blue vials, uh, white vials. I've never actually run out of white vials before. I've I've literally never run out of white vials in this game before. Am I gonna have to craft one? Goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to craft a white vial. How embarrassing. That's actually embarrassing. Okay. Okay. So up, back up to the temple, you say. Let's go have a look. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Oh. What the hell? Masked person is serenading to the moon. Her blank eyes are fixated on the moon and nothing but the moon. And the reaction, she just keeps on singing. I wonder if she has unique dialogue with mind reading. That'd be interesting. Where did she come from? How is she still alive? Fucking rare cultists, man. Weirdos. Where was Abella Hitchius? Ah, uh, Olivia. So if it's a personal question, what's your favorite kind of music? Um, I like, I guess if I had to pick a genre, I guess it would be like electronica. Um, I, I don't really like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God damn it. At least I didn't save long ago. That's so annoying though. <laughs> Uh has anyone died to the traps in this area? Uh no, nobody's died to the traps in this area. Why would you say that? Why would you why would you ask that question? It's, it's a very silly question. Why would why would anybody ever die to those traps? <laughs> Vengeance for Tanaka! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Zero deaths run, let's go. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Good run, still can get our original goal. Yeah, yeah. I'm special. Yeah, I am I'm a special boy. Of course I'm a special boy. <sighs> All right. I hate those traps. They're not even a coin flip. They just get you. That's so annoying. <laughs> uh, get Vietnam. Yeah, basically. I'm a special boy with special needs. I need to not step in traps is what I need. At least we're now on the timeline where I didn't have to craft a white vial, so... Alphala has some nice shoes. It is pretty stylish. That is a pretty cool outfit, isn't it? It's very similar to this, the Skull Kid, isn't it? People say those fellas are Vanushka cultists. I wonder if we know that for certain. They might be moon cultists. 
Um, let's cure this poison. Actually, no, let's not cure the poison. Because I feel like we're going to be getting poisoned again, so. And, and dots in this one only tick down in combat. Um, I think even including bleeding too, so you don't really have to worry about dots. As much. Might be Moon plus Vanushka Cultus. Uh, it, they, there is a slim chance, yes. Um, but anybody wearing a mask tends to be explicitly for one god. Like, uh, like the bunny cultists or the wolf cultists. They were explicitly for one god, so. Okay, let's, let's find the mob. Mob should be up this way. How sure are you about dots? Not whatsoever. Okay. Um... Okay, I am going to... I'm going to heal. That's that's kind of annoying that it closes the thing. Someone modded this so that it doesn't close whenever, whenever you use an item like that. I wonder how hard it is to actually do that. Um, craft item. I want... I have a shitload of mixed herbs. I'm going to get a couple more blue vials, actually, because they're actually kind of useful to have. Um, healing, blue vial, this one, cool, 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 equip, um, he can't equip a trench gun, can he? No, shit, okay, um, because you, you kind of want to take out some of these guys before you enter combat, do I have enough bullets in my pistol? I might have enough bullets in my pistol, actually. It's, it's good to take out these guys before you enter combat. Here we go. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. Nah. Shit, this is really bad. <laughs> I don't want to start this combat in a, in, with, with a, with fucking, with a pistol. Whoops. Okay. Levi, attack. This one. Osas, you can attack this one. Okay, this is probably going to be really bad. That hurt. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I need three people. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Vanushka first before we go in there. Because um, I want to be able to shotgun these dudes down. So... We can get the sigil just here in this hut, actually. Sorry, not Vanushka, Sylvian. Sylvian. Me trying my best not to be immature when I've seen the dongs, even though I've seen them so many times before. <laughs> Draw Sylvian. Here we go. Some people play this game with no fog. Is it a mod? It is a mod, yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, I was playing it with that and it's so much better without it. It it feels bare without it. So I think, I think like just lowering the amount of fog or increasing the vision range would go a really long way to improving the visuals of this game. Um, Because there's, like, when you hit midday, it's like the whole thing is just so foggy. Like, I can understand at night being at super dark, but during the day, it's like it shouldn't be, I, th I think. Okay. Should have a couple of turns before the hour jabs, so I should be able to take this guy out. Okay, next turn. We need to block this turn because the owl is about to attack. What does the chair function do when you're remapping the controls? So Olivia, you need to you need to get in and out of her chair frequently because she can't use her chair when going upstairs. So you need to be able to 
equip that and unequip that and re-equip that really quickly. So it needs its own button. There we go. 10 shillings. I'll take that. Up, 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 up. On the topic of musical instruments, what instrument would each character play? <laughs> Why do you guys ask such the silliest questions? <laughs> um, Levi and Marina would have flute recorder flutes that they have in school. Up, 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 healing, flute violin. Here we go. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. Meat grinder starting to feel hungry? Not really. Don't lie to me. And we'll get its head. Okay, okay, okay. Orange, orange background, orange bear traps. <laughs> Makes me rage quit more than I thought. Like, thankfully, they don't move, so you can, so you can really tell where they are unless you're not paying attention. Um, you can memorize it. Like, I only get caught by them when I stop paying attention. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a bit annoying, isn't it? Attacked by an owl and stole his 10 shillings. Well, he attacked me, so... It's reparations. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Fuck, I'm gonna have to kill this guy too, aren't I? Can you go away, please, dude? Come down here. Come down here. How many shotgun shells do I have, actually? I have... Seven. I'll save that for the mob. How many... I don't have a rifle. How do I not have a rifle? Oh, wait, I do. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. 16. Okay, cool. We can do that. Come here, dude. Good. Good, 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 good. Um... Just guard. Miss. Damn it. Whoops. Right, I saw guys first. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Attack his head, attack his head. There we go. What happens if you take the double to a person they're copying? They usually have unique dialogue. If you can't tell I love Olivia. You, that's because you have excellent taste. Olivia is actually the best character in the game. Okay, okay. Now, there's no point in using the rifle when attacking the... Um, when attacking the mob because you can't blow their arms off because they don't have arms, technically. Okay, let's put down booby trap. Oh, they're not even here. They're not even here. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay, it's 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 a bit random where they show up, so. Um, what's the best place to trigger them then? Might be, I'll try Sylvian Square. Might be good. The best place to get them is, of course, the apartments. So I might, I might run around to the apartments, actually. Yep, let's do that. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. No, goodbye. 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 No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wait, hang on. These guys aren't that hard if you blow their arms off, are they? Ah, okay. Got one, got one, got one. Now we run again. Because <laughs> their arms actually have really high health. Okay, good, 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 good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Ugh. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. If their arms have really high health, um, and they're almost guaranteed to uh, cut off the limbs when they hit you, so you just don't fight them when they have their arms. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Can you stop that, please? That's really creepy.
So the best method is to blow their arms up before fighting them. Um, or killing them on the world with like shotguns. So. It's better just to hit the death mask torso instead of the legs. That's usually what I do. I was just trying it out this time. But yeah, I might just... Stop that, please. There we go. Death mask and chain mail dress. Let's go. I like Karen more for lore purposes, but Olivia is one character. I wish she could leave preheval before things get sour. Yeah, Karen really. Sorry, um, Olivia really does trigger that protective instinct, doesn't she? Oh, his attack and defense. His attack went down. I guess it's just temporary. Oh, I guess oh, I guess because I reset, so I wonder if it like it reset then. Hmm. What does Death Mask clothes seem like? It tastes like car tire. <laughs> Chain mail dress. There we go. And then Levi can have leather armor. This looks good. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's go around. Let's go around. I don't need anything. From Actually, how much money do I have? If I have 99, I might get a hardened heart while I'm here. Wait, where is my money? Where is my money? 98. I have 98 shillings. Um. What's up, Kiefer? I should get small things, actually. Small things really nice. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll just pick up small things. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. And I'll put that here. Cool. If you don't have a crush on Abella, whether you like girls or not, you're insane. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I don't know why. I don't know why you would want a a girl stronger than you to inflict physical violence on you. I don't. I don't get it. Oh shit. Uh, these guys are annoying. I'm. I do kind of want to take one out though. Just was so a bit of a bit more of a clear path to get through here. Okay. That's a a lot of damage. That's some people's fetish? Yeah, it's weird. Um, you're saying you want a girl to inflict CB- No, I don't want that! <laughs> let me through, let me through! Here we go, here we go. No, no shit, God damn it! Alright, fine! Fine, fuck's sake, go away. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the meat umbrellas. I hate these things. They're so annoying. More of a mumbler man myself. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to get through here without having to worry every single time. Ah, okay. Now, we can get the mob over this way, and it's pretty good. Go away. take out these guys so they don't accidentally get in the way because that would that would really suck if I accidentally triggered a fight with a fecal hound there we go Quip. cool 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 no they're not here either really god damn it Let's try this. Let's just try resetting. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, he got me. Shit. <laughs> Run, can I run? Can I run? Can I run? Good, 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 good. Shit, this is really tough to run away from. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm just gonna fight them properly. I'm just gonna do it. Um, glass shards on him. Levi. Item glass shards on him. Osa can. Item glass shards on this one. <laughs> just in case it fails. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Meek Grinder lost his left arm. God damn it, that's annoying. Um, okay, let's go. Bob and Weave isn't actually gonna be that useful, is it? Okay, take out this, this one. Um, okay. Is he blinded? I don't know if he's blinded or not, it doesn't say. <laughs> Skills, attack, this one, I saw, can cast hurting on this one. Good night, more they cap, thanks for coming in. Good, he's dead. Uh, okay. Me granted lost his other arm too. God damn it. <laughs> I gotta do another Sylvian, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You attack him. Levi heals using mixed herbs. And Osa is actually going to heal as well. Yeah. I have plenty of mixed herbs. So. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. You <laughs> let the gas open. <laughs> Levi, we really want to take this guy out like right now. Heads or tails, call it. Okay, the worst is over now. Extra turn, attack him. Is he still stunned? He is still stunned, sick. How's he doing a quick jab with no arms? Uh, no one told him he couldn't, so. Find two shillings. Meat grinder fell apart in the fight. You pick up the scrap. You get a saw blade and a broken bench grinder. That's all three, baby. Let's go. Yeah, if, if you want to tell, if you want to tell Marco that he can't do it, then be my guest. I just like uh, RPG making games a bit. They were never my thing, but Fear and Hunger was really nice. Never thought I'd like an RPG making game that much. Exactly. I'm sort of the same thing. I didn't like, I liked a couple of them, but most of them were just sort of not really my jam. Um, but yeah, Fear and Hunger is just some, something else, isn't it? Thorned Ring. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go save and Sylvian somewhere. <laughs> Where can I, where can I Sylvian? Um, where can I Sylvian? Oh really? I met a. Oh well. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> you need dirty toilet paper. Uh, I'll just hold on to that actually. I guess I can Sylvian in Mayor's house. Would probably be the easiest, won't it? Probably the easiest and the safest, I think, at this point. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's go. There's some bobbies here, but I think the bobbies would be easy to deal with with three people, so I'm not that worried. Oh, guess we're not doing that then. <laughs> no guns, no gun run. Juked, fucking juked, get owned. 
just embarrassing. Just absolutely embarrassing. Just started playing this game. Who should I play first? Um, if you want an easier time, I would recommend Marco or Abella. Um... Um, yeah, yeah, Marco or Abella. Um, they're, they're usually, as, as, if, as, if you're not familiar with the, the Fear and Hunger series, then this game is going to like stonewall you really hard. So Marco and Abella sort of really help, really help get through that. Um, Levi is not a very good pick because he has, because he has uh, heroin addiction, which is really bad. <laughs> but um other than levi um none of the characters are really that bad so some are a bit more complex to play like um like osara is a bit more complex because he relies on magic but for the most part they're not that bad Maka can also recruit Abella super quickly in their powerhouse together. That's true, yeah. Yeah, you can you can you can get both at the same time. Maka got the animal crossing arms. <laughs> Here we go. Dissing on gun hero Levi. Well he's Heroin addiction is is tough to deal with for a new player, I think. This is strictly for a new player, right? For a more experienced player, you know, it's, it's, you know, there are lots of ways to deal with it, but. Okay, oh, I also need to save, don't I? Um, let's go up here. Hang on, would the priest jump me? The priest might jump me, hey. Let's go kill the priest. How did that miss? How did that miss? Run. You think I'm gonna fight fair? I'm not gonna fight fair. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Mark it with that arm, self ending speedrun. <laughs> well, apparently, Marco gets a damage buff when he's. Gets, gets higher damage when he's missing his arms, so. You know, I don't know. Priest gives a wide sadistic grin. Du -du 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 guard. Wait, no, this is a bonus turn. I don't need to guard in the bonus turn. Mm, probably didn't need to guard anyway. Soulstone, nice. Cool. Abella would play Animal Crossing with them too because she likes the crafting. Abella would play Animal Crossing because she's actually. She tries really hard to be a sweet feminine girl, and feminine girls like Animal Crossing, so. Wait, I've been in here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, what am I doing now? I am saving, aren't I? Yeah. Yes, I'm saving. Wait, what's so? Where do I? Where was my? Where was I farming? Um, the first bunker has a bunch of stuff. So let's go back to the first bunker. Marina and Levi's favorite game is Pathologic, I bet. <laughs> Levi would fucking hate that. <laughs> Can you give both heads to the beggar? Uh, I don't have the woodsman's head yet, so... But yeah, I will, if you like. So we can see what, re what reward we get. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. I'm not doing this. Are you kidding me? Shit. Am I gonna have to go do Sylvian again? Uh. Uh. Fuck off. Are you kidding me? Why didn't I run? Why didn't I run? <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Let me run. Let me run. Let me run for fuck's sake. Okay, we're going the long way. We're not coming back here. <laughs> oh, damn it. You're kidding me.
You're actually kidding me. That's so annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I need to... I can't use the meat grinders if I don't have arms, right? So I need to um, go to church and then I can Sylvian there at church, can't I? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I should, maybe I should Sylvian after I get the stuff. So that way I'm not gonna like fuck it up and if I lose more limbs then that's okay. Because I'm running, I'm quickly running out of places I can do Sylvian sigils. Oh, hey, Bella. Uh, not Bella. Karen. I don't need to kill Karen yet. Well, at all, really. I don't need to kill Karen. Let's turn in this head while we're here. New mission to go to church. Wait, I never, I never thought of this. Can you go to church since you're a demon and all? Yeah, I can. The shack near the train. I already used that one because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine. Oh, there we go. We didn't get infected. Okay. At least I can pick up some more herbs while I'm down there. Can I? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think the last one left is the one by by um in the church the one in the church so i need to i i need to save it so my arms might, if my arms get cut off again then i'm just fucked so I can pick up some more herbies down this way too, so. That's nice, nice. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I, got a, I got a bit confused there for a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that guy at all. Bella and Marco make the whole cast by. <laughs> Access the island on the right side of the map using the boat. Yeah. Don't really need to though. This way? This way. Red Herbie. Red Herbie. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Four red herbs right at the side of the game is actually a really big deal. Okay. Oh, pick up this one. Um, I can go save at the woodsman's house, can't I? Yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's an old god circle in underneath the woodsman's house too. So I can, I've got two, two slots I can, I can save at. Okay, that's good. I haven't used that one yet. Okay, I'm not going to use it yet because I, I don't need because yeah, I will I will save it just in case. But it's good to know I have two. If Olivia's legs work, she would body the fuck out of a Bella. Well, she does already with the wheelchair, so she doesn't even need her legs. That's how strong she is. That's why Olivia is top tier. She bodies everybody. Oh, hey, we got the running bug. Here we go. Little snoozy. Okay. 
I really only killed two people. Thought it would have been more. Okay, what do I want to get in the Hexen? Is there anything else I want to get? Mm. Not really, hey. Oh, I could get... Loving Whispers would be nice, actually. I can't get that? Why can't I? Oh, right. Heart flower, brain flower, don't care. Magic defense, don't care. Um, okay. Okay. Ooh, adrenaline rush, actually. Not fast dancing. Wait, no, I have adrenaline rush, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're good. Imagine Olivia doing No, 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 no. Olivia is pure. We don't talk about Olivia that way. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> cool. Janet can saw them off but doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's funny as. <laughs> Janet cuts your legs off but it just doesn't change anything. That's actually really funny. Okay, let's go to the bunker. And we'll pick up some stuff. Okay, so what do I need? What do I need? Can I craft one yet? Craft weapon. No. Okay, so I just need one more saw blade and three scrap metal is what I need. One more saw blade and three scrap metal. Now, if I don't get it from the bunker, I will probably start resetting, which is why I saved there. Because... There is a possibility you can get stuck without actually getting all the stuff you need. A low possibility, but it can happen. And I don't feel like walking all the way over Termina, all the way over Preheval just to get this stuff. When it might not actually work anyway, so. So let's let's check everything out. Oh, already got that one. Why can't Marco use a wheelchair if you lose his legs? Bone saw, don't need that. Pressure plate, don't need that. Yeah, because he's too beefy. He's too much of a beefcake. Oh, we're actually pretty hungry, aren't we? Um, have a meat pie. There we go. Beefcake! Let's go! You still have the projector bunker to loot. That's true, I do. And now I have short circuit as well, so I should be able to get some secret, secret things too. Pipe wrench, duct tape. Is that what I needed? Duct tape? No. Pressure plate. Man, this is all junk, isn't it? Okay, and we can go down here as well. Wait, wait, wait. There's stuff down this elevator, isn't there? Michael would have been one of those chubby babies. When he was younger, he was a massive baby. Actually, funny you mentioned that because canonically, Marco was a regular sized kid until he hit his growth spurt when he was a teenager. He used to get bullied a lot when he was a kid, and then he hit his growth spurt. And he became an absolute fucking huge Chad. And that's straight straight in his intro story, too. I think I need scrap. I might. I'll have, have a look now. Okay, let's look see. Let's look see. Okay, so I need one more saw blade and one more scrap metal. No. Two more scrap metals. Okay. Marco's honestly one of the better overall people in Fear and Hunger, unless I'm missing something. He is a pretty nice guy. And he does stand up for the little guy because he knows what it's like to be bullied. He's a bit nice. But he's, he's, he's sort of... His weakness is that he's, he's kind of dumb. Scrap metal. Nice. There we go. Three bolts. Don't need bolts. Hey, Veritas. How you doing? 
how to get Osar in here. He's easy to get. You just need to go to Bunker 1 uh, at, at any time and you can just pick him up, so. <laughs> do you need intelligence when you do around 300 damage with no weapons? Exactly, exactly. Hey, Pitch Black, how you doing? Is the stream almost over again? No, no, we're going for a while longer. Um, oh, it's almost been three hours though, but no, no, we got a little bit to go. I want to complete my project first before we finish up. And so we're almost, we are, are kind of close to the end, but it's, it depends on RNG, so. Apparently there's a guaranteed saw blade somewhere, somebody said. That would be nice to pick up. Does anybody know where that is? The guaranteed saw blade? Inky's a good guy too. He follows no morals, so technically not breaking any. Well, see, that's the thing, right? That is the thing. Nobody ever thinks what they're doing is too far. If they thought it was too far, they wouldn't do it. <sighs> okay. I just need one more saw blade, and I have all three meat grinders. So let's go check out... Let's go check out... I, I could probably... It might be faster to go through this way, wouldn't it? If I have enough keys. How many keys do I have? Keys, 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 keys. Uh, do I have no keys? <laughs> well, I think you know what time it is. Well, hang on. No, no, I, I might as well wait because it's not going to give me much more damage, is it? Okay, that's annoying. Can you add accessories to yourself? Can you wear Tanaka's hat? I could, yeah. The only issue with that is is finding um, high enough quality quality assets. Otherwise, it just looks kind of bad. Enki, cool guy. He's a cool guy. Also, I believe you plan to use Woodsman's House Circle to get Levi and Osar's back, arms back. Uh, you're right, I did. Let's do that. And then while I'm out, I might as well just go go across and do the uh, do the other bunker. Then have a look see there. I think there's also um, some shells in Woodsman's house I didn't use yet. Okay, let's boogie on out of here. Okay. It would be neat if there was a skill that increased the amount of stamina you had. I think that'd be cool. Oh, Woodsman's House first, right? Wait! Yes, Woodsman's House first. Because I have another Sylvian sigil I can go to if if my arms get cut off by the fucking death mask again. <laughs> they probably will. They probably will. Okay. Cloth fragment, ornamental lantern. Okay, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Sylvian, here we go. I don't think anyone is bad except Caligura and to a lesser extent Pav. Yeah, the only one who's like, who would be considered the bad person would definitely be Caligura. Um, because even Pav, he's a jerk, but he's doing, he has a good reason for the things that he's doing. He understands what the festival is. 
he understands what the festival is and um and that nobody's getting out without without a cost that's why he's happy to kill people um but also he's doing it to kill the kaiser who has fucked over a lot of people in his journey so he's on a journey for revenge okay you know what i'm gonna craft a couple of these um craft this one nice okay so now i just need one more sword blade hey guys i'm a player to where i get where mao is mao hold up so i can get to you from the start yeah sure take your time nice meat grinders let's go um you can have i have sylvian and you can have the thorn ring there we go pav is chaotic neutral yeah very chaotic neutral he doesn't like being fucked with okay so we have the <laughs> I'm still running with the bug. Okay. He's around here somewhere. Where is he? Back up, back up, back up. Get a clear shot. Get a clear shot. No, stuck in... Shit. God damn it. I got stuck in the goddamn terrain. Okay. Run, goodbye. Levi, attack that. Levi, you attack, you attack that. Good, 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 good. Okay, now he's armless. He's harmless. He's armless. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now we're free to go. Nice, nice, nice. Now it has to deal with Death Gurgle, which deals a little bit of mind damage, which I don't really care about. No shit, don't leg. God damn it. <laughs> and meat grinder causes bleed. Nice. Nice. How you doing, Iden? Um, okay, so let's go to um, where was it? It's the other bunker in, in, in the slums. Okay. Easy enough to get to. Uh, is there anything special about death in the game? Is there afterlife or is death just death? Um... There's nothing really clearly said about it, but it seems to be what I suspect. And this may be wrong because nothing is explicitly said about it, but you seem to see souls go to Mahab and then filter into the, the Hall of the New Gods. So what I think that means is that when you die, you just go and fuel the New Gods. But honestly, nobody really says anything about death, which is kind of weird. Like, it's never, like, death just isn't talked about. <laughs> like. The wall is complete. How about you? You got the shield of the four. Let's go. This has to mean something. The shield of the four item. Okay, um, bunker. Keep going. Wonder how it's going to be when Kaligura is playable slash recruitable. Why do I want him in my party unless he's busted and needs to be in the party? That's the thing. Uh, Miro has said that he may have different mechanics because he's such an asshole. So he might have different mechanics because it doesn't really make sense that other people would recruit him or that he would recruit other people, does it?
So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it actually play, pans out, right? But, you know, who knows? I don't care. First four new gods? Wait, what? We don't know who the first new gods were. Um, it's never, ever been said who they are. Can I get a saw blade, please? So does, does nobody know where the guaranteed saw blade is? Because apparently there is one. Up, 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 up. <sighs> this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Always pick tails for chess. Uh, it's 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 purely random in this. Um, in the oh first small things amulet. Did I did I need another small things amulet? <laughs> in the first game, there was a bug where it always landed on tails, um, but now it is completely random. So, are all characters recruitable, or are some locked if you play as a specific character? Like, will some characters refuse to work with you no matter what? No, currently no. But it may change with Kalagura. Because he's such an odd fella. Maybe. We'll have to see exactly what, what happens. Um. Um, yeah, this way, this way, this way. I wish you could use uh, Hexen to improve the abilities of your party members so you don't have to kill them. Um, I do understand why people would want that, but I feel like it would just be too strong. Having extra party members is already really strong. Like, it completely changes how some fights, fights work. Well, the game gets exponentially easier for each party member you have, right? Um, so I think being able to use the, use the Hexen for the, the people who are in your party would just be too strong. I think it would legit just be way too strong. Wait, what have I done? What have I done? Hang on. Imagine if you could recruit doppelgangers. That'd be sick if you could recruit doppelgangers. <laughs> Would be off for Marco and Caligura to work together considering they are apart from rival families? Well, not necessarily with Marco because he doesn't really care about the family he was a part of. And in fact, he hates, he hates the family now because uh, Ricardo... Nicardo Avocado was going to was threatening to kill his kill his sister. So I don't think he he's that opposed to working with um I don't think he's that opposed to working with No, wrong one. That opposed to working with Kalagura in, in that specific regard. He probably is because um Kalagura is just a fucking asshole, that might be why. But from the family angle, uh, Marco doesn't give a shit, so. Me when I recruit Doppelganger Levi and treat him well and read him silly books. <laughs> what interests you with Caligura's character? Because you're one of the few that like him. I like characters that are extreme. So it's very rare that you get a character that is just an unrepentant asshole. Like, Caligura is just a fucking jerk. And he loves it. Doesn't give a shit. Right? And how often do you get to play as characters like that in games? 
like usually they have like soppy backstories and you know oh you know he was he was wronged by the world so now he's out to wrong the world again that sort of thing right but Caligari is like he's just like no no I'm just a bastard and I think that's really cool um I like characters that are extreme um like I like Tanaka because he is he is such an extreme everyman. Um, and I like most of the characters in this game because they do push it. Not all of them do. Um, I think some are just a bit. They could be they could be better. Like I don't I think Osar could be a bit more of a jerk. Um, um I like Samari because she's like, she's just fucking nuts. Yandere Stalker. Just, just straight up unashamed Yandere Stalker. I don't like Marina that much. A lot of people like Marina. I don't think, I don't think she's that interesting. Hey Harfor, how you doing? Thank you very much for the uh thank you very much for the membership. I really appreciate it. Hey, just as we find a sword blade. There you go. You're good luck, Harfor. <laughs> Everybody thank Harfor for giving me a sword blade. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. We have it. We have the three meat grinders. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> three meat grinders. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah, on three best boys. Let's go. Now go for four. <laughs> you can't get you can't get four, unfortunately. <laughs> uh maybe, maybe we'll get be able to get a fourth soon. Maybe. We'll see. Because we're getting a new area added soon. Um Oh, yeah, who should I test it on now? Who do we have left? We've got uh Let's go to church then. Let's go to church and test it out a bit. Where am I? Preheval Northwest. Okay. I need to go to the apartments, actually. We need to go to the apartments. So that's just back here. Moonless? Yeah, we could do Moonless. Yeah. Yeah, let's, actually, yeah. Let's go do Moonless. Um, sh I should save. I should save first. Um, where's the best spot to save if I'm doing Moonless? Um, ooh. Um, let me think. Um, probably Bop. Yeah, let's go to Bop. We'll go to the bop and then we'll save and then yeah, we'll go we'll be able to jump out down the sewer. Let's go to church and test this out, test out the three meat grinders. <laughs> Jigsaw gang! I want to play a game. Oh, did you see? Did you guys see they're doing a reboot? Well, a a sequel boot, whatever you call it. They're doing a new Saw movie, and it's got and it's got uh, the characters from the OG. So it's it's not like uh, Jigsaw or Spiral, which were kind of shit, um, but actually, but yeah. So it's it's it's, it's a proper continuation. So it's great. If you could get three hearts and leechmonger rings for three nearly immortal grinder boy gang, can you buy more leechmonger rings? If you can, I, I, I'm gonna go do that. That'd be sick. I can't really get anything else, can I? Nothing I really want. Hmm. Jigsaw makes you watch Velma for 10 minutes. No! 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 
<laughs> just kill me. Jigsaw, just kill me. <laughs> Leechwanger ring RNG drop. Uh, I don't know if you can get an RNG. You get that guaranteed one, and that might be it. But if Marco pick the top bunk, he's going to fall. He, he would break the bunk, wouldn't he? To tag along, let's go. Yeah, I've already got the one from the from the shopping center. Um, I don't know if there's another one though. What difficulty is this? Normal? Yep, yep, it's normal. Um, because I, this is this is specifically for getting three bench grind, three meat grinders. You can't get three meat grinders on easy, um, as thankfully uh, Raccoon pointed out, and that would have been really bad. Um, you can only do it on normal, and there's no point to getting three on on Maso mode because you you can't really nobody else you can't recruit people that that can hold it. So yeah, Levi, sing his piano, man. Ugh, this is awful. Levi played Despacito. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Uh, where was it from here? Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> and after all, you're my wonder wall. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of, kind of lost, haven't I? Yo, half a short. Thank you very much, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's Levi! <laughs> but thank you so much for the five gifted subs, that's awesome! Five gifted subs, memberships! <laughs> um, how does that work on YouTube, I wonder? Because this is the first time I've ever gotten a gifted membership. Um, okay, so it's coming through now, it's coming through now. Um... So it takes, okay, so it takes a little minute to come through on, on YouTube, but yeah, thank you so much, Harfor. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Finger guns, a <ay. laughs> Yeah, they added it, uh, I think, not that long ago, gifted memberships, which is really nice. Um, this is actually the first time I've seen it happen. So, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. That's awesome. We're fighting Levi as Levi. Let's go. Can I talk to him, actually? Levi doesn't seem interested in talk. Prepare to die, soldier! Levi doesn't seem to hesitate. Okay. Yo, Zionis, thank you so much! <laughs> what are you guys doing to me? <laughs> you guys are spoiling me today, what do they do? <laughs> wow, so many new members today. Jeez. Like how many how many are we up to now? 32 members this week. That's insane. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Help me get into fear and hunger, so this is my way to say thanks. Oh well, yeah, well I'm I'm glad. I'm glad there's more people that are that are getting into this game series because it's just amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Game of full life, thank you so much, man. What are you guys doing to me? <laughs> you guys are awesome. What did I do? What did I do to get such good, such a good community, huh? Praise all me, exactly. Everybody's going to have green names in chat soon. <laughs> yeah, hype train. <laughs> wow. They don't have anything like, they don't, they don't have anything like hype train in here, do they? Well, I'll just I'll just get progressively louder and louder then. That'll be the hype train. <laughs> Nectar is five hundred. Yeah, we'll have to change it to five hundred. <laughs> Taught us how to beat the game. Oh god, that's terrifying that people are listening to me. Um, wow, that's a lot of members. <laughs> 40, well, actually, it's, it's slowly ticking through, so it's actually up to 42 now. Is that right? 
That can't be right. Five gifted memberships for each each meat grinder. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Soon everyone should have uh, green names, but uh, except me. But you must be the special one. Sorry, Maple Daz, it's random. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, I guess when you gift out a whole bunch, it's 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 random who actually gets it. Yeah, my my YouTube um, uh, panel still hasn't actually updated yet, so it still just says there's only eight members. So, <laughs> can see on the member goal. But, ah, yep, yep, yep. Avatar gets slowly red, red eyes the more members you have. Yo, we should we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> also have to allow gifts. Oh, okay. Jeez, half a short, another five. <laughs> Let's go. There you go, Maple. <laughs> yeah, when when now the artificial green. <laughs> wow. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. <sighs> you guys are nuts. You guys are great. I have the best, we, we, we are definitely the best chat in, um, in the fear and hunger streaming community. I think there's only like three of us that stream it regularly, three or four of us. So, but my, my, my group's definitely the best. So everyone else is too jealous. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. We've almost, we've almost all joined logic. We've got the green robot god glow now, yeah. Uh, green is not just for rare. It shows up for the other gods too. But it seems to be related to the old gods and logic as well. But logic is called explicitly called the artificial green, which is interesting. Yeah. It's a plague. <laughs> it's a plague, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. This is awesome, guys. I'm, you know, really happy. Membership scorched. <laughs> I need to do, I guess I need to do more, more challenges like this where I, where I have to, I have to do something in a short time. If you guys are going to reward me whenever I complete my challenge. <laughs> Members of Logic and we're trying to convert more. They <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> All right. I haven't even got to test out the, uh, test out the meat grinders yet. Ratatouille. Oh, I, I do need to do the Ratatouille run again, isn't it? It was, it was, what was the Ratatouille run again? It was, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Mastery over Vermin and MasterChef. And we'll say, and to make it, and that, because that probably won't take that long, to be honest. Um, but I think it would also have to be, you have to make one of each, of each recipe. Each improved recipe. To prove you are the master chef. <laughs> Must be weird watching Marco cutting off a copy of your head. That would be so weird. In Masso mode? Oh fuck me. <laughs> I need to beat I need to beat Masso mode at all first. <laughs> Test out meat grinders on needles if you're still alive. Uh I've actually killed needles already. Needles is dead, unfortunately. Did I save? Yes, I did save. Go down here. Am I going the right way? Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. I have a challenge for you. Limbless any percent fastest to lose all limbs. Oh. I think you could do that with the woodsman, I think. Because he, he cuts off limbs with his axe. Hmm. So one guy beating Masso mode with Marco alone, you can do it. Yeah, um, a dark raccoon who's who's actually a member of this chat. Um, he pops up. Um, has beaten regularly beats Masso mode. Hey, thank you very much for the super chat, Vic. Don't know how this works. This is all I can do. No, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, don't feel like you ever have to have to support and give money. Um. 
don't feel like you have to. I, I you know, it's, it's very much appreciated, but it's not mandatory. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> Why is that so loud? Hang on. <laughs> this is a day two finish run, or are you planning on ending day three? I honestly don't know. I just really wanted to get the um, the meat grinders. That's all I was really thinking about. Um, I guess I, 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 I guess I could finish it. Hey, probably do. I want to do ending B. I think. Any tips for Masso? Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the person to ask about that. Um, I I have played six hours of Masso on stream, and I have never even been able to save. I'm very bad at Masso. <laughs> Saving everyone, I think, is a Bella and Osar exclusive. Um, um I think it's Obella ex Obella exclusive actually, but I'm not sure. I've, I haven't done it. I can't work out membership. It's so confusing. It is a little bit odd on on YouTube, isn't it? Um, but it's basically. I mean, it's it's sort of the same as Twitch, where you just pick you pick which tier you want, and then it's like you pay that much a month, and then you become a member of the channel, and you get you get different things, right? So on this channel, you get. Um, um, you get some emotes, you get some custom emotes, you get a badge next to your name. Your name turns green. Um, but also, also on, for everybody who's a member now, you can see on, if you go to my channel, you'll see like a community tab and you'll see unique posts for members there. And um, I, I post previews of upcoming well, I, I post the thumbnails of upcoming videos before they're posted on there. For everybody who is analog or higher, gets to see that. Ba, 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 ba. Let's turn this volume down a bit. That's really loud. There we go. And super chato. It's super loud. Jeepers. Here we go. That should be better. All right. Just want to see in two other channels able to get 13 survivors. Yes, you can. You have to do logic ending. And I think you need to be a Bella because, uh, because of the Abella Henrik thing. But I might be wrong. I've never done it myself, so it might be wrong. So. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Green's the color of money. I wonder why they chose green, to be honest. Because it's sort of green by default. And I don't know why they chose green. Maybe because it's an inclusive color. And so if you don't have it, it's like, well, you I guess you're I guess you're not included. <laughs> they have they literally have teams of psychologists working on this stuff. So it really wouldn't surprise me. What am I doing anyway? No no no, we need to we need to do this. We need to hang on. Okay, so we need to change that one. Okay. It's my favorite color, so I'm vibing. That's nice. My favorite color is... I actually don't know. What is my favorite color? Okay, so we need to get rid of that one. Yeah. I like blue, I suppose. I think this is it. My old favorite color used to be blue. It's a nice color. I like. There's some really nice shades of blue. I think. Hey Andre, uh, I do have a. I do have a Discord. Actually, I should post that. Hey, if you're not part of the Discord, you can join it here. Tomorrow we'll be doing a watch along of, um, Mandy, the Nick Cage movie. It's Mandy. So make sure to join the join the Discord, um, and we'll be doing that watch along tomorrow, and that'd be really fun. Uh, gonna go for tonight, 2.30 a.m. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thanks for coming in, guys. Um, yeah, if you need to stay, if you need to, um, you know, you don't have to stay for the whole stream. Yeah, streams aren't really, 
you know, if you need to leave early or uh, come late, that's fine. Ba, 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 ba. Man is such a good movie. Yeah, it is. It's it's it might actually be my favorite movie. I love it. Um, I think that's what we need to do. Hang on, it's been it's it's so long since I've done this puzzle. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. How many more members for a Masso run? Um, I'm actually doing one. Um, so at the start of the week, I was doing a Masso run, but I was... <laughs> it was very painful. It was very painful, right? Um, so I'm just taking a break from it. I'm taking a break today and tomorrow from doing Masso. Uh, but next week, um, we're doing another Masso run. So it'll be starting on Monday. We'll be doing Masso again. And I have something special prepared for that. So keep an eye out. Oh, keep an eye out on Twitter too. Um, let me just get up to Twitter for you. I post, I post all stuff in Discord as well. Um, but I also post stuff on Twitter too. If you, if you're, if you're a Twitter head, a tweet head. Um. There we go. So yeah, there'll be an announcement about what's happening exactly on Monday coming up very soon. Um. This way? This way. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But yes, there will be more Masso coming. No, 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 no need to apologize. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hey, Black Mudkips, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Three grinders Masso. <laughs> well, you can't, you, there's no point to having three grinders on Masso. Because... <laughs> because um because you can only have only one person can hold it. Go away, rat. Rat. This way? Mushrooms don't care. Get blue herb. Nice, nice, nice. More than making bank. Let's go. We love making bank. Who called for a bird? 12 gauge trench gun. I don't need another trench gun. It's kind of weird that trench guns and stuff show up in chests so frequently. Because you don't really... need them to. <laughs> Two for one hand, hold the third with your mouth. That would be sick. Marco should be able to do that. Yeah, I, I agree. Rats. We're rats. We are the rats. Yo, half a man! Dropping the big ones. Let's go. An absolute legend. Make sure if you if you get if you get a sub from somebody gifting it, uh, a membership from somebody gifting it. Yeah, make sure you give them a thank you in the chat too. Thank you very much, Half. We'll really appreciate it. Rat, go away. The green, the green. We're taking over. Greens are taking over chat. Let's go, boys. Okay, 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 this is, we're coming up, we're coming up to, we're coming up to... Mm. Oh, you guys are great, you guys are too good to me. Do I have any buff? I don't have any buff food, do I? No. Yellow King, the Green King, yeah! Green King! <laughs> Um, okay, so, I wonder if I should use, I wonder if I should use, uh, heroin, actually. No. I think, cause I, we'll just see how, the, how these go. We'll see how these go. Okay. I think we're actually accidentally turning into members only chat. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't need to do members only streams right now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's special, no one will be. Tag with the blood curse now. I don't feel any different. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I might just double check. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I can craft. That's right, because I got, I got uh, trap crafting, didn't I? Um, we'll get some mixed herbs. Mixed herbs are really useful. Blue vials, 
I can craft brown vials, can't I? Yeah. My craft brown vials then. Uh, no, I won't do that. I don't need that. Crash went from 10 members to 60 in a single day. I know that's just insane. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I can't believe that. <laughs> Ugh. Just ridiculous. What are you guys doing to me? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Just sort of a challenge? Oh, yeah? What'd you think of? Okay. Just need to wait. We just need to wait for a few turns. Glowing eyes stare down at you. Hit three goals casually. 10, 25, 50, next is 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but if someone gives 10 members cut off a limb, oh god. No. No, because because if, if that happened this stream, then I would just the run would just end because I'd have no limbs left. <laughs> um what I'll do is I'll give No, I won't go pet pills. We'll we should be fine to be honest. Without pet pills. Oh, you know what? I'll give Levi and I saw pet pills because I think that'd be funny actually. Okay. Here we go. And we'll go torso and we'll go torso. need the extra turns <laughs> wow Levi didn't even get a chance to attack <laughs> oh, goodness gracious <laughs> oh no that's insane <laughs> I didn't even need the pep pills <laughs> That is just ridiculous. <laughs> wow. That's just two me grinders. Yeah, that Moonless is just fucked. Levi carried, yeah. Levi was there for moral support. Without Levi, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Three men attack giant dog with me grinders instantly destroyed. <laughs> uh, one tap heartless. Oh, we could do heartless, right. Let's do heartless after this, yeah. Your dog's chewing on something, you don't know what it is, yeah. You managed to wound the beast, she's literally a slice of turkey. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, does every boss have a unique OST? Uh, I don't know now that you mention it. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Cloth rag went two condensed blues. I'll, I'll have the condensed blues. I didn't take any damage, August, but thank you. I'll take care of her. She's just a flesh pile, yeah. Uh, buddy, uh, I think she's... I don't know what you're going to do. Blue herb. Okay. Let's go. Half of a sugar daddy. <laughs> Got to put more money in the account to give more members to... Uh, you guys don't don't all right. Yeah, so don't don't put yourselves out like um, Yeah, make sure you're taking care of yourselves first before you before you get memberships You know, I, I trust you guys to make make decisions like that, but I have seen I have seen some people that um, Put put donating to streamers above their own well-being before and I don't want you guys to do that So make sure that you guys have all taken care of yourselves first and don't have any bills and that sort of stuff first um, but I do, I, but as long as that's all taken care of, then yeah, more than happy to, to take as much money as you want to give me. <laughs> Jesus, Tanaka.
I'm gonna kill the other Tanaka now. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but now I'm prepared to answer violence with violence. Um, goodbye. Taking out 5,000 loan to gift memberships. <laughs> Lucky coin, gentleman's hat, and broken eyeglasses. <laughs> you get broken eyeglasses? That's funny as. Imagine being a colossal monster that drove entire towns. You get absolutely minced by three dudes without even a chance to try anything. Yeah. <laughs> you can have the gent. We should all we should all rock gentlemen's hats. Quip. Do I need magic defense? I don't remember. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. At this point, oh, I, if I had three hats, I would definitely would. But we only have two, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now we're the mob. <laughs> this fandom is so unexpectedly wholesome. The, the Fear and Hunger fandom is bizarrely wholesome for such a dark game. It does seem to be the case. So there's a bit of there's a bit of a rule of thumb. It's the darker the game, the more wholesome the fandom. And the more a game tries to be wholesome, the darker the fandom. Is this the one? This is the one. Sick. Bottle of beer. Red hat. Nice, 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 nice. nice. I feel like Tanaka is Kenny from South Park. He is! <laughs> New rule, every member gets a Tanaka hat. Definitely want to try that. Okay, whoops, wrong way. There we go, there we go, there we go. Second floor. Hope shines through the darkest abyss. That's very true, that's very true. Okay. Animal Crossing fandom, the darkest, the darkest fandom, Animal Crossing fandom. I've seen bronies in the wild? <laughs> oh, I knew a guy that was a brony. IRL. It was, uh, not amazing. Okay, 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 okay. So what are we, what are we doing? Uh, my bank won't let me do anyone in Memphis. <laughs> your bank is like, even your bank is like, dude, mm, don't know about that. <laughs> no, 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 thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for everything so far. I really appreciate it. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, save here. Do I, do I even have the rare book? I do, I do. Okay. Um, wait, do I not have Fear and Hunger? I don't have Fear and Hunger. I might go save. Hmm. I might go save first in, in town. Because I can save like right here. In the bookshop. And I might be able to get Fear and Hunger in the bookshop too. So let's go do that. Let's go do that. Before I fight Heartless. So that the, so that the run back isn't, isn't that bad. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Do you think you can take on the Goa brothers with with uh, three meat grinders? Uh, probably. Actually, no, you can't actually, because because Goa brothers are only only Massimo. They're Massimo exclusive, so you, you literally can't use three meat grinders against them. Uh, doesn't Marina give you fear and hunger for free on the first day? Or is that that's easy mode only? Unfortunately. Where's the bookshop? Is it? No, it's not. Is it up here? Okay. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I can't believe how good this is. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> go, 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 go. Don't get shot. God damn it. Don't take you son of a bitch. You shot me. Not bad though. Not bad. Okay. 
Bookstop, let's go. Poor Levi's suffering over there and needing to fix. Yeah, he needs, he's, he's, he's addicted to cat girls. He needs his cat girl fix. We need, we need Pav in here to give him his cat girl fix. <laughs> God. Once Pav is recruitable, I feel like he'd be really good to have on a team for this. Oh, can you imagine? Pav, uh, Pav's abilities, um, on guard plus order charge with a full team of meat grinders. That's just insane. Mahav, don't need Mahav. Fear and hunger, there we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Nothing worthwhile, god damn it. Ba, 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 ba. Who in their right mind would shoot a man with a meat grinder? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just, just let him be, dude. Just let him be. Lucky for Levi, I used to want to be a cat girl. <laughs> Meat grinders must be properly oiled to maintain with the blood of your enemies. Absolutely. You need, you need to keep these seeks fed on blood. Have you already beaten the priest, bro the priest boss that takes his clothes off? Uh, that's Father Hugo, and no, I haven't actually. We could go do him. Yeah, well, let's do Heartless first. Wow. And now that I have fear and hunger, I can just go save right in front of Heartless. So. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Blue bar. Nice, 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 nice. Tanaka, he always gets a short end of the stick. Why does anyone know why Needles hates Tanaka so much? I don't know if there's a particular reason. I think uh, Needles is just a fucking jerk. I, I legit think that might be the reason. Because he kind of, he's kind of that mean to everybody, right? You know, he rips Marina's face, literally rips it off. So, he's not a nice fella. What we'll do is change that. Double sm Wait, I have a second small things amulet. Where do they get a second small things amulet from? No. Leechmonger. And small things. There we go. Can we just kill everything? Uh, I think I can. Yeah, I think I think that's what that's what we're gonna do. Is just kill li literally everything. <laughs> Jesus! And you keep yourself fully healed. <laughs> if you have a leash mugger, you just heal. Goodness gracious! Goodness gracious! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on. There's another ring up here, isn't there? What is it? It's. I think it's beetles. I don't need beetles. Beetles stone. I don't need that. I think Needles just wants his hat. That's. Well, Needles does take his hat, doesn't he? If Needles kills Tanaka, he just takes his hat, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Bing shilling. <laughs> okay. Let's let's just change equipment around. Just to make sure that, you know what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take small things from him. You can have Eye of Sylvian and I'm going to give it to Levi. Just to help with his agility because his agility is quite low because of his addiction. So, and you can have the Leechmonger ring back to keep you topped up. Meat grinder. Mad scientist that is cursed by self god. But yeah, that, that's a that's a pretty accurate um, description of him. Do I not have better stuff? I don't have better stuff. Oh well. And let's top up everyone's mind. I don't know if this actually. I'll, I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit before we before we save. I want to actually open up the fight too. So now, how do I do that again? It's up this way, isn't it? And this one. This one? No, this one. Here we go. Oh, there's a bed here. 
I don't trust that bed. <laughs> I don't know if I trust it, but... Pet pills and a blue vial, sick. Be terrifying if needles takes a liver's wheelchair and becomes twice as fast. Could you imagine that if if needles could stun you with the wheelchair? Like he starts running around like centaur. And but if he hits you, he like he stuns you. And starts with a guaranteed coin flip. That'd be insane. I, I really want to see that now, actually. Okay. Um, so I have the key. Now I need to go down here. Where is it? It's there. I need to get there. How do I get there again? This way. It's this way. Need us with four legs. Here. Here we go. In here. It would be really cool if Needles picked up abilities based on who he killed. I think that'd be really interesting. Wait, is it? No, it's not here. It's it's the next one. Which is, it is back this way. I'm an idiot. Sorry. April Fool's mode where you play as Needles. That would be sick. Yeah, and you had the whip and, <laughs> whip and stuff like that. That'd be sick as. Down here. Here we go. Um, and we want rare, and I definitely have rare. Yes. <laughs> Don't I have the key? Isn't that what I just picked up? Hang on. Did I not pick up the key? What? What have I done? Do I need to kill... Hang on, do I need to kill Samurai before this opens up? Let me check. Uh, fear and hunger to Nina. It's... it's Heartless. I need church keys to open this. I might need church keys. Yeah, you'd think that the meat grinders would be able to just get me through that. I might have to go back and... Did I not pick up the rusty key? No? You get the other key. Okay, in the church. All right. Um, I'm just going to uh, take a short break for a second and I'll be right back and then we'll just keep doing this. Okay, BRB.
Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Um. Yeah, so I guess I, it seems like I have to clear out the rest of the church. Um, the church basement, which will be pretty easy. Um. Should be pretty easy with the with the three meat grinders. <laughs> hey, Funky Fresh, uh, are you still doing massive mode, or did you rage quit? Um, kinda. Uh, taking a break from Maso mode today to do a three meat grinder run, and that's going pretty well. As you can see. One meat grinder, two meat grinder, three meat grinder. So pretty, pretty happy so far. Um, just trying to, just trying to kick open Heartless's, Heartless's room and um, wait, 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 wait. I kind of don't want to fight those guys, do I? Um, do they mind control very first turn? They do, don't they? Um, hmm. I wonder if I should save before fighting these guys. <laughs> I have been screwed. I have been screwed by... By an, an unlucky mind control crit before. So I'm just going to save before I fight these guys. Oh shit, he did the running attack. God damn it. Oh no, it didn't count as a running attack. Sick, okay. Like, I can probably kill him beforehand, but I don't want to take that chance, right? There we go. I guess I didn't need to worry. Sold about our necklace. Okay. Yeah, didn't need to worry. Um, I did have Levi get killed when I was playing as Karen. And Karen had Black Steel, which has a high crit chance. And she crit Levi and did 120 damage in a single hit. So <laughs> I, I didn't want that to happen again. <laughs> Father Hugo is real. And he's your father. Oh. There we go. Weird. RNG and that must have like just had it just, just slightly below where it needed to, to be. Lavender petals. Nice. Sweet. Soul Devour Necklace. I don't need Soul Devour Necklaces. Do you need Soul Devour Necklaces fighting Heartless or something? There's a lot of blood down here, isn't there? It's kind of weird, boys. Kind of weird. Ooh. Yoink. Yoink. Is Father Hugo in the room with us right now? Oh, God. Sword of our necklace. Sword of our necklace is doo doo, but if, um, if Heartless is going to be doing a shitload of magic damage, it might be worthwhile, hey? Are they hungry? They're not really that hungry. Church keys and sewer keys, nice. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leechmonger ring off him and give it to Levi because Levi. Here we go. See three meaty boys. <laughs> nope. I'll take that. <laughs> nope. Maybe I should go kill Samari while we're here. That shouldn't be too hard. Cloth fragment. Score. The build's coming together, guys. We got the final cloth fragment. Seven sold of ours on my last run. Oh, yes, I can read blood. I was born from it. Well, there's writing on the walls. I didn't know that. Hey, buddy. Heartless won't be doing any damage because she won't get a turn. <laughs> Maybe. That might that might be the case. She is the super boss though, so. 
We'll see. Okay. Squish. Two fly out manitas. Nice. Riding on blood here. They came from the pools of blood. Interesting. I wonder who that means. Is it, is it the fathers then? The bloodshed attracts them. I think it, I think they are talking about the fathers. See silhouette of your reflection in the blood. It starts beyond recognition. I wonder if they're talking about the um, doppelgangers. I wonder if they're talking about doppelgangers here. That would explain why they're explain why they're all messed up visually, right? Because they're distorted reflections of you. Hmm. To be fair, you need to have a very high IQ to understand fear and hunger. <laughs> That's so true. So true. <laughs> um, where was the thing? It was over this way, wasn't it? Um, uh, I hope it's open now. I've done everything in here now. I've killed everybody. Everybody is dead except Samari. No. Here we go. Okay, so you need the church keys. Okay. Hey, babe person or being buried under the chains the chains are some kind of sigils etched all over them are you okay dot 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 no answer oh okay being is gone all that's left are chains in a padlock you pick up the heart-shaped lock um let's look at the heart-shaped lock Rusty key, no description. Heart shape look, rusty. No description. No description. Why are there any descriptions? Oh well. <clears throat> okay. Um. I'll go and save because I can save just here. No, here. Oh, you can't actually. Do I need to save? I don't think I actually need to save. So. <laughs> Leave Samari alone. She's been going through some things. She has been going through some things, but. Where is the new god pool? Here it is. No? Yes. Okay, let's top everybody up um, before we go in. And Levi, we're gonna we're gonna give him some heroin because he's he's been a good boy and he's earned his heroin for today. Um, healing. Uh, let's use wine vials. How much does wine vials do? That's kind of strange that they they're guaranteed and you, they do a lot. Um, and Levi, you can smoke. You can smoke the pipe, I think. Where's my pipe? Where is my pipe? I have five pipes and one tobacco. <laughs> Fear and Hunger game is different, even though someone told me the first was their favorite, I wouldn't contest it. Honestly, yeah, like, um, there are, there are some big differences between the games, and mechanically, I feel like Termina improves on a lot of the systems from the first game. But they have such a different vibe, and, you know, completely different settings, completely different characters. Um, and even though it's obviously the same, the same universe and, you know, it is, they are quite dark. They're, they're completely different vibes, so. I can definitely understand why someone would favor one over the other. I, I used to say that Fear and Hunger 1 was my favorite because I like the, 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 the medieval setting more. But as I, I've really started to appreciate Termina a lot more. So I think, I think it might be my favorite now. Orange forgot to add descriptions like he forgot to give a reason to kill Center. <laughs> face cream graphic is so dope. Totally looks like Fear and Hunger. That's my actual face. That's what I actually look like. I am I am actually transmitting myself through the TV. You are seeing me speak right now. It's actually a face cam. And thank you, Leo. I appreciate that. That's done by... I'll, I'll give you the link.
That's done by a fantastic artist called Salva Tron. So here, go check out Salva. If you want some fear and hunger art done, Salva is your guy. Okay. Guys, mind if I ask another question? You can ask as many questions as you like. I'll just have a sip, sip of water before we do this fight. Okay, Levi, you earned five gold stars. You know what that means. You get your heroin for today. Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. <laughs> no questions in chat. No questions. <laughs> um... Does Levi not having heroin do anything? Yeah, you can see. So whenever a character has heroin, afterwards they get the addicted status. And it makes them a lot slower. And uh, it lowers their stats in general. Um, Levi starts with heroin addiction by default. So you sort of have to give him heroin if you want him to be useful in a fight. <laughs> He's not bad, but this is going to be a super boss. So we want to be, we want to be jacked for this fight. I'd like both games equally if I didn't have to coin flip every time I wanted to save in Fear and Hunger 1. Yeah. Do you think, do you guys think Kaiser is the duplicate of Lagarde from Fear and Hunger 1 like the theory goes? I, I lean towards that theory, definitely. Especially since it looks like there's um, another person that did that in, term, in, in pre -heaval. Um, and it is so bizarre that, um, that Yellow King has that visual effect when you use Rot on him. It seems very strange that that would be the case. That he's the only one that looks like that when you use Rot. So, I think right now, I, I'm, I don't think that there's enough evidence to say definitely. But it would, it would explain a couple of things. So... I would like to see more evidence added. Um, Miro said he is going to explain some things in the game through through the patches. Um, so maybe maybe that'll be one of the things that'll be explained later on. Um, but right now, I, I would say I'm leaning towards it. Wouldn't be surprised if he was Lagar, but I wouldn't be surprised about a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be getting playable Tanaka. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. Um, maybe like three months. The next patch is Miro is aiming to get it out at the end of March, but uh, you know he doesn't he doesn't like having strict deadlines, so it could be it could be later. It's probably probably going to be later. Um, and then he said that adding characters takes a very long time, so I would I would be surprised if we got a new character in three months. Um, <laughs> but we'll see we'll see how it goes. Uh, my love language for characters is to belittle them and hold them in my hands and <laughs> throw them against the wall like a ball. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not been explicitly said which character is going to be next. Um, I reckon it's either Pav or Tanaka based on the based on the poll that was done. Since they were the clear winners, and Miro said he he was he's he's going to he's likely going to follow the poll, but you know he can change his mind. He can you know he can decide that oh you know this character isn't going to be super fun to add now. I'll add them later. You know it's there's there's a hundred different things that could happen, right? So yeah, so when, when I say this stuff, I, I it's like take it with a grain of salt because this is just based on what I've seen from the Discord and Miro likes to joke around a lot in the Discord too. So it's it's always like, did he did he actually mean that or? <laughs> I always killed Tanaka on my playthrough, my jaw drop. I saw I saw a video of that. I was like, no way, that's so cool. Tanaka's such a chat. He's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fight you, and then just gets owned. <laughs> That's happened my favorite playable this character right now, Olivia. She is a cutie, isn't she? She's actually a fantastic character. I really like her. And not just, be not just because she's cute.
Oh, what's your favorite Moon Scorch design? Um, there's a few of them that are really good. Um, Karen's is awesome. That might be my favorite because Karen's is just rad. Um, I've really come around to Henrik's lately. Actually, I I just from just from like looking at him more and playing with him more, I think he's really. I think he just nails that sort of concept of truly embodying an idea. And I, I really like it. I think it's nice and simple and just really effective for what it is. I think he could be a bit more aggressive. Like it's make it a little bit more easier to piss him off. But I think he's I think he's pretty good. Um all of them are pretty neat. I do like Olivia's as well. That's creepy. It's so creepy, Olivia's. It's so creepy. Uh, chicken legs are Karen's form. Ruin it for me. <laughs> well, she is a chicken now. <laughs> um, okay, let's do this fight. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. Levi, you get your good boy drugs. <sighs> Give an offering off the heart shaped lock. Let's go. Put the offering in the center of the circle. The air cools down and becomes thicker. It feels heavy just to breathe. The heartless one rises slowly from the pool of blood. Da, da, da. Who dared summon me? I can't do a girl's voice, sorry. Ha! Actually, I can't, I can't again. <clears throat> ha! You wish to challenge me? Silly human. Only accept one-on-one -on -one jewels. Oh, really? Okay. All right, one-on-one on this then. Better make this worth my time. Um, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh shit, did I not give? Okay, no, I do get extra turns, okay. Get fucking owned. Oh, I didn't give him. Oh, god damn it. I didn't give him his fucking item back. <laughs> I didn't give him Leechmonger Ring. God damn it. This is gonna. This is gonna really fucking suck. Oh, this. This fucking shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was very much not prepared for that. A new record! Okay. <laughs> let's try that again. Um... Oh, we need to unlock everything again, don't we? Okay. I should have saved then. Whoops. Uh, need the church keys. You boys find any of the meat grinders yet? Absolutely. How you doing, Ben? Found three meat grinders. Which is fucking sick. Get destroyed. Come on, crush it, crush it. There we go. Two fly money, that's nice. Why do you accept the one one on one? Why did I accept the one on one? Can you can you only fight Heartless one on one? I'm gonna get the heroin to Marco, is what I'm gonna do. Marco will have the heroin. What happens if you don't crush the I'll leave it. I'll leave the uh the Gary. I'll leave Gary there. Having meat grinders will solve world peace. It will. It will solve world peace. Wait, no, this way, this way, this way. Okay. Ba, 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 Investigate. Be let out. Church keys and sewer keys. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get this. Let's get this while we're here too. Ba, ba, 
Sorry, Levi, no heroin for you. Yeah, exactly. You're not joining the fight, so you're done. You're done. Uh, wait, no, not this way, this way. No, not this way, this way. It's Metal Gear. <laughs> um, Marco getting his arm cut off is kind of bad. Uh, where can, can where can you get arm guards from? You can get arm guards from. Can you get arm guards in the museum? You can, can't you? What piece being sold would mean the exact opposite of what you think it means. No, no, I I want everybody dead basically so no i'm happy with that Eye eyeglasses there you go duct tape carrot ammo nothing okay uh this way no this way here we go have you remembered to drink water i have actually Okay, let's free, let's free Heartless. Cool, 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 cool. And we need the locket. Cool, 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 cool. Listen, Levi, heroin is for people who are actually doing dangerous work, unless you charge, <laughs> unlike you charge soldiers. <laughs> I might go get arm guards because if I get RNG fucked up, then then that's kind of that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, I don't have that one. I don't have that other. I don't have the other effigy. Oh no. <laughs> um, hmm. Got some good stuff here though. Pet pills and want everybody dead. Everybody must die. Okay. Um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do want to I want to get the arm guards. So let's go to Z Apartments. Hang on, no way this actually works, too, does it? No, no. Wait, I'm stuck running. I'm stuck running. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this running bug has been happening a lot today. Lucky coin, I'll take that. Good hoof. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Arm um, guys are guaranteed to drop. Who only had an RNG dropped? I believe you can get some in the B -b 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 museum. But I might be wrong. I don't think Heartless is that bad since this game gives you so many tools to break it. Yeah, you know what? I might give it another... I'll save now and I might give it another go. Um, Might give it another go now that I actually, you know, understand the fight a bit better. Like, I, I, I had no idea there was only one person. <laughs> oh, sorry, Halfer. I missed it. More they would you do the fight without arm guards if we give you five more members? Oh, uh, well, I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> but you're welcome to give five more members if you want. I wouldn't say no. Okay. Drugs in my church? At least Sunday matches to get you high. Yeah, exactly. Who needs, who needs drugs? Who's ready to see me help this man's whole career? <laughs> What day is this, by the way? This is day two. 
I'm pretty sure it's day two. Yo, 10. Boys, let's go. Halfor, what a legend. Thank you so much, man. 10, that's insane. You might be, yeah, because it, it takes a second to tick through. So we'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> How for carrying this stream. <laughs> Not this way, this way. Not sure what day it is to save and find out. I could. It's, it's definitely day three. Uh, two. <laughs> three, not three. <laughs> Soulstone, nice. Deep Sea Drill, that's a cool name. Infection spreads, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So let's make sure, <laughs> let's make sure we actually have the right equipment here, right? Small things. Leechmonger, excellent, excellent, excellent. Bremen Elite Helmet. Can we do better than that? That's right. Seventy-four members. Wait, yeah. Jesus, ticking through. And like ten more, and everyone watching is a member. Oh no! <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to give literally every person watching a membership. <laughs> Um, I have healing whispers, loving whispers. Is, is any of this actually going to be useful? I don't know. A5 watching, is there? Goodness, there is. One more membership and we get rid of Marco's legs so we can take all of his wheelchair. No. <laughs> Swear to God, that one coffin near the New God Circle always has a death mask in it. It has a high chance, it feels like, yeah. But we've already had the two the two uh, death masks appear for this run, so we're not getting any more. Slides of money that more they paid me in secret to make everyone members. <laughs> I think there are some people that do that. I don't. I don't have any money. <laughs> well, I do now, but. <laughs> um. Okay, let's top up health, I think. Light blue vial, blue vial. I have 11 blue vials, are you kidding me? Craft items, let's craft a brown vial. That'd be great to use first turn, pop a brown vial. Okay, is that still going through or is that a new one? I think that's still going through. No, is that new ones? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Halfor. Thank you again, man. Who wants to know my social security number? Don't post that here. <laughs> oh, jeez, Halfor. Jeez. You should speedrun Rorda Bill. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Is there anything else I need to craft? I don't think so. Maybe a couple of these. There we go. 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 Awesome. 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 All right. Half of your base gonna call you crying. What are you asking? What you're doing? <laughs> How many is that? It looks like it's stopping at eighty five. It it seems to be a bit slower to tick through. We'll just have to wait a second. I think. Fear and hunger and taxes. Hey, Owen. Thank you very much, man. I want to see a social security number. That sounds so hype. No. <laughs> 85 is a, oh, there we go. 86. Perfect. Nice number. Thank you guys very much. Thank you guys very much for everything. Really appreciate it. More members and viewers now. <laughs> okay. I think, I think we're good. Now,
You're gonna subtract 17, no! <laughs> okay. Keep an offering off a heart shaped luck. If we're giving away social security numbers, can we also see the three wacky numbers on the back of the credit card? <laughs> Take to putting milk on my Shirley temples. My God, it's delicious. What is a what is a Shirley temple? Oops, sorry about my mic. Who dared summon me? You actually wish to challenge me, silly human? Only accept one-on-one -on -one jewels. My sword is honed for the purest form of despair. One-on-one -on -one jewel, this. I admit it's worth my time. Okay. Bob and weave. Get that early. Okay. And do, 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 this one. Why did I miss? Uh, no, 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 she's going to do that crazy attack this turn, isn't she? Guard plus. That's a cool looking attack, isn't it? She can't cut off my limbs now because I have guard plus. Oh, and the, the full miss, the full miss. That's a cool looking attack. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's take off his arm. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. That's so annoying. I can still punch, but still. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, what? Why did I lose both my arms? What? Heartless one's wings. Okay. <laughs> Still punching. <laughs> uh, damn it. Okay. This build is not gonna. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't think this build's gonna work. <laughs> well, because he's Marco. Nobody told him that he couldn't punch with his nubs, so he just does it. Um, what do you guys reckon? Is there a way to beat this fight with how I am now? What do you reckon? I need to. I need to get some. Get some other abilities. Need arm guards or someone safe. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Mischief. Mischief of rats. Really? Is there? Is this a secret boss slash shout out to Katsuki? Yes. Yes, it is. Just get lucky. <laughs> you you can't guarantee salmon snake. I'm pretty sure you can guarantee. Um, pretty sure you can guarantee arm guards in the museum. So I'm gonna go. Salmon snake would be really nice. So I need to, I need to go get uh ba -ba -ba -ba, the other effigy. So let's go do that. Broken glass works in here. Oh, that's a good question. No way, right? No way we're broken glass work on the super boss. I thought the new update fixed black screen during bone saw. I think that's only when you bone saw yourself, I thought. Mind if I do some math for you? Yeah, go ahead. Go. Body bread. Okay, we'll fight this one again. <laughs> Does broken glass work on Australians? Asking for a friend. No, it doesn't actually. Yep. Eighty-six times five is four hundred and thirty. Um, I get. 30, so YouTube takes 30% of 
all donations, all money from YouTube. YouTube takes thirty percent of it. Um, and it also, they also take some out for tax for foreign nationals, depending on, um, depending on the tax status with your country. And I'm not entirely sure what the tax status with Australia is. But it won't be that much. Okay. $301 today. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> As a Texan can confirm, glass shards are our and this Aussie's softest floors. Yeah. <laughs> Foreign attacks. Yeah. Don't Australians eat spiders? Uh, no, spiders eat us. Okay, so we want... So we have 6, 9, 11, 13. There we go. 301 is rookie numbers. You need to pick those numbers up. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pretty happy for, for 300 bucks for a day's work. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'd be really happy if we can make that every day, but we'll see. We'll see. Baby steps. Here to worship Saturn and watch Fear and Hunger. <laughs> How you doing, Severo? All I know about Australians is ground harnesses and gigantipedes. Yeah. Okay, so 11 is dolls. Dolls. I should remember all these. Since I, I do this like, I've done this like 10 times already. Try 30,000, yeah. Well, that's the dream, isn't it? I don't, know, I don't know if anybody gets 30,000 in a single stream. <laughs> Boxes. Unless you're doing, unless you're doing one of those uh, really big special event streams like Ludwig's, um, like Ludwig's uh, Supathon, where he got over a million dollars. Okay, this is interesting. So this is a horse statue. And we know that there is an old god that is related to horses because we see the mask. Does anybody know star signs? Does anybody know what this star sign would be? Because it's definitely... Oh, excuse me. It's definitely a, a, star, a reference to a star sign, I think, because, you know, this guy has the telescope, so. Hmm. Sagittarius? It might be. Sagittarius star sign. No, it doesn't look like it. It might be a made-up one as well, so... Hmm. On my way to donate 30,000 members. <laughs> 1k member for face reveal? Absolutely not. This is my face anyway. You don't need to see a face reveal because this is my face. Look. I'll get up nice and close and personal for you. This is what I look like. This is me. I literally look like this. Stop horsing around. <laughs> this is this is one for the for the law boys. What does this mean? Mind, sh mind showing the star. Sorry, I just pushed this onto the. This might actually be like a, a secret, like map of uh, of preheval as well, just to ruse us, right? Pegasus. Let's get this out of the way. Now put on cooler glasses. These glasses are so cool. What are you talking about? Little Dipper? Let's look. Little Dipper. Dipper. Hmm. No, it's different. It's pretty different. 
Doesn't look like any existing star signs IRL. Okay. Yeah, so it might be a made-up one. Um, it also could be one of those fake-outs where it's secretly like a map. Goodbye. Ah, splat. Google Pegasus Constellation. Pegasus Constellation. Oh, that is quite similar, isn't it? That is very similar. Um, hey, Dan. You want to come with? <laughs> sure. Let's go, buddy. I need this book. Let's go back upstairs so I can actually see that constellation again. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Pegasus? Among Us? No way. There we go. Jesus, they have a lot of health, don't they? What if it's part of one character's S ending that hasn't been implemented yet? Yeah, I could believe that. Okay, so what other houses, rooms were they? Six and nine, okay. Um, six is gu guitars, so that's music, that's the songbird, and nine is, of course, upstairs. I do need another meat grinder, I can't get one though. It must be upstairs, whoops. Wait, I want this. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Dan's fault for being late. Yeah, yeah, if he was if he was on time, he would have gotten a meat grinder, but This is the Hunk Squad, isn't it? Boys, let's go. What's <laughs> name our band, guys? What's our what's our band? Wait, nine? It can't be room nine. Oh, yes, it can be. It can be. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It can be. Here's the one looking at the stars, so. Yeah. That is very similar to Pegasus. Very similar. It's missing some stars, but it looks... It's missing one star. But it looks so... It, it looks like Pegasus, for sure. It's missing, no, it's missing, like, two stars, but it looks like Pegasus. Yeah. Well, that doesn't help at all. There's no known gods associated with Pegasus. God damn it. The grinder's featuring Dan. <laughs> Dan and the Grinders. <laughs> oh no, that sounds, that sounds that doesn't sound very good. Dan and the Grinders. <laughs> Chainsaw Bros. Yeah, yeah. Misery Quartet. Yeah. New band name is You Guys Never Want to Stand in Line with Walmart with Me. <laughs> Car Team Ramrod. Let's go. The Meat Grinders. The Meat Grinders is a good one, isn't it? Midnight Meat Men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think Nashra is constantly screaming at Osar for following these idiots around? He probably is. Like, sometimes when you talk, um, he'll be whispering to Nashra. No, he didn't. He didn't this time. Sometimes he whispers to to Nashra when you're talking to him. Um, okay, let's see. Books. Yeah. First blood, moon and stars. Okay, so we have nine, comma, just moved in, so thirteen, comma, puppets, eleven. And then last will be six. Music. Girl who keeps you up at night. Sungbird. Yep, there we go. Too easy. 
Include Nas in the band? Be like a ghostwriter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd he'd be the he'd be the manager. Uh, so what was that? Nine, thirteen, eleven, and six. I I could have just broken it down, couldn't I? Oh well. Nas is pyrotechnic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really confused about Osar and Nashra. Is he a ghost, or is his head in Nas Osar's pocket? His head is literally in Osar's pocket. You see it in the um, in the trailer, the release trailer. You can see Osar literally carrying Nashra's head. But I think he gets away with it because he's he, like you know he looks like some weirdo mage. So everyone's like, well, he's just a weirdo mage. Of course he's carrying this. I actually I need to kit down out with some real weapons, don't I? Rip and tear division. Yeah, BFG. There we go. <laughs> Man, three meat grinders is just so good. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, Dan, what, what can we give you? What can we give you? Um, meat mallet's actually pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to give him a Sandman, actually. Yeah, you can have a Sandman. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, leather armor. <laughs> Dress everyone up in, in leather. <laughs> Eyeglasses. Sold about. Oh, there we go. Levi's hair and no! <laughs> oh, the, this this part of the soundtrack is so stressful. Oh, no, don't want to fight me? Okay. Where's the chest? Here it is. This is Sulphur's Screams in the Pits of Hell, I think. Another Thorn Drink, sick. I think we're hearing Sulphur scream. Black earning screams are so slay. Lady Gaga could never. <laughs> Meat grinder. Let's go. Let's go. Big freaking sores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Silent Hill workout playlist. <laughs> Maybe we should go get a hardened heart. I think that would really ice the cake, wouldn't it? Okay. Missed a lot. Things are happening. Hey, Lone Game. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've done a lot this stream. Now we fall down here. Jump down. Throbbing Gristle type beat. Oh man, Throbbing Gristle. That's been a minute since I listened to them. Find two lucky coins. Sick. Okay. Thought the maximum was three party members? No, no, no. The maximum. Uh, we we're talking about three. Because three meat grinders. But no, you can have four, four party members. So we're gonna eat breakfast. It's it's 11 p.m. <laughs> Learn is ingredient to fix that. No, you've done a lot already. It is relax. It is really relaxing music, isn't it? Been watching Fear and Hunger stuff for this long. Never known you could have four. Really? Guess it happens. Okay, um, bup, 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 church, we need to go back to church.
Take me to church. I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sins so you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that deathless death. Did I not kill this guy? In fair, most videos don't have four for long. That's true. That's true. I already had a Bella too, and I and I killed her because it, it was funny. There we go. Blue vault. Sick. Let's go. What else did I want to do? I want to go to church. I need to go to the museum, and then I need to get the thing. This guy's fucking annoying me. I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> that wasn't hard. There you go. Now stop shooting me, you son of a bitch. Free mount owners and Dan to poke them if they somehow survive. Exactly. Ho 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 ho! No way! There it is, boys! There it is! Salmon Snake. Let's go! Let's go! The one! Ah! Is the big wolf in the sewers hard to kill? Uh, how you doing, Perk Blossom? Um, uh, <laughs> not when you've got three meat grinders, it's not. Um. I killed it first turn, I could attack it. Uh, with two meat grinders. My third, I mean, one didn't even go off. Um. But usually, no, no. Uh, Moonless isn't that hard. You just have to... Take out... Take out one of the front paws. Um, and then take out, um, Miasma, and you're good to go. Work here is done, Duke. Lucky, my luck I gave you with these gifts has finally happened. It has, yes, this is all you. What a fantastic, I think all I need now is like a Bremen elite, elite body, I think. I think that's it. All right. Let's go kill that guy, that uh, that Bremen elite soldier. Maybe he'll drop his drop his chest plate. Maybe. Remember everything you've done down in the dumps. Three meat grinders can solve your problems. Exactly, exactly. Whenever you're feeling sad, just remember three meat grinders. It's possible. Anything is possible with three meat grinders. Hey, chimp. How you doing? Want to know what's better than three meat grinders? What's better than meat grinders? Four. That's true. That's true, but sadly an impossibility at the current state of the game. Maybe, maybe in the next update we'll get a fourth one. Maybe. I think that would be pretty sick. But we'll have to rely on the benevolence of Miro to get that. And I don't know if Miro is benevolent enough to do that. <laughs> Herbie. Nice, 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 nice. It's here. Nothing. Okay. Five big grinders win. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Why can you not craft another one again? Because they require... Um... So meat grinders require a special item called a bench grinder to craft, and you can only get three bench grinders. Oh, he's... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Find a rifle and ammo. Damn it, no. Uh, no, no, no Bremen chest plate. That's okay. Turnip, egg. Okay. Four meat grinders a day. Keep pocket cat away. Uh yeah. I, th I think we'll. I think we'll make mincemeat a pocket cat with that. <laughs> Dan, the real MVP. Yeah, yeah. Dan carries. Dan, Dan is absolutely carrying us. Okay. Ah, oh, take this. Thank you. Dan coming in clutch. Oops. Rotten meat. Meat pie. 
Can I do anything here? No. So the new area is going to be a boardwalk, a boardwalk town, like a boardwalk set of homes, like a fishing little fishing village. So it's and it's most likely going to connect this spot here down to the coastline um, where you where you see Karen and where you meet Dan on the first day. That's most likely what it's going to be. Because Miro said he wanted to add more... Add more things to connect the early game to the mid game. And the new area is a fishing village, so it just seems like... It just seems like that's where it's going to connect to. What if Orange plans to add that weird island on the map? You can go there. You can actually go there. You can only go there on day three night, I think. When It's when Karen transforms into her Moonscorch version. Then she she flies out there. New area gonna be important or a side dungeon? It'll be it'll it will technically be um, optional, but it will be an extra way to enter the city. I usually go right. Let's go left this time. Oh, Jesus, mine is really low. <laughs> um, vodka, there you go. Okay, here we go. Long stream. It has been a long stream, hasn't it? Oh, shit, it's a priest. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Mm, oh, not quite enough. There we go. Nice. Always want to take out their arms first because they cast a shitload of magic, so. <laughs> find a soul stone, nice. And I'll take this. What if you find a moon scorch rare? Uh I don't think rare can be moon scorched. Can we read this book? I want to read that book. Let me read that book. We can't read that book. Hmm. How many ways are there to enter the city now? Sewers, bunker, front gate. Am I missing something? Um so you can enter it off to the left with a Vanushka sigil, uh, but that requires getting Vanushka, Vanushka book and chalk. Um, you can enter it through the main gate, or you can enter it through the sewers. Yeah. Um, right now, there's actually an issue where if you kill Henrik, you don't get the sewer keys. So you can actually sort of screw yourself out of entering the city if you don't if you don't get a regular key drop. But it's actually kind of tricky to do. Oh, hello. What if we scorch the moon? We could try it. I don't know if it'll work. I think Abella wants to do that, doesn't she? Don't give Levi alcohol. It'll be absolutely horrible if you gave him alcohol. That's illegal and the worst thing you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good boy. The festival really is just rare doing a bit of trolling, so. Dan is picking up the slack. He's going strong. I don't know how he's faster than Osar, but that's the way it works. Okay. Okay, let's let's crush these Garys. Two fly Amanitas. Gross. Soul of our necklace, sick. Let's go. My build is complete. I have my, I have my tenth soul of our necklace, so my build is now complete. Okay. Oh, I wonder if we can kill. I wonder if we can kill uh, Sergal before he leaves. Maybe. I don't know. If, I don't know if the burst is high enough for that. <laughs> Okay. Let's top up some mind, I think. Um, beer. Wine bar. Here we go. Um, and I might top up Levi's health just in case. Okay. What are you doing up there, sir? Oh, you weirdo. 
Dan is powerful as meat grinders. It's crazy. He is. He's, he's actually going really well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to attack the torso. Let's see what happens. Bleeding and poison. Oh god. <laughs> Levi, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna heal these guys up, I think. Uh item. Oh yeah. Cool. There we go. And there we go. Boom 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 boom. There we go. What's your favorite Moonscorch contestant? Which is your, which of the Moonscorch are your favorites and least favorites? Um, I actually hate fighting Olivia Moonscorch. Um, I think that's the most painful one I have fought. But Abella is is mean. Abella's real mean. Um, my most favorite is probably uh to fight is probably Dan. Really done tier. I haven't done a tier list. That's a good idea for a tier list, isn't it? Moon Scorched tier list. That is a good idea for a tier list. Um, I think they're all cool in their own ways for the most part. Um, oh well, yeah, okay. So he just leaves when, when his health gets low enough too. Um, Circle also leaves when you cut one of his limbs off. So he's actually pretty easy to first turn these days. Because his limbs aren't really that strong. If you have multiple people in your in your party, you can like just absolutely body him. I think my least favorite would probably be Kalagura. I don't like his design that much. I think it's just a bit boring. Um, it makes sense for him, but I think it could be a bit more interesting. Doesn't Bella Moon Scorch take a couple of fights to take down? Yeah, yeah, she fucks off halfway through. <laughs> Red herb, lucky coin, blue herb, duct tape. We go. Let's fight this dude. Okay. Good day in pre one member drinks like five bo vodka bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's just being an Eastern European, though. I think this is what they do. So. So it's not really that different to, like, you know, another ballistic shield? Fuck yeah. So, you know, it's not really like, you know, unnatural fear and hunger. That's just, a, that's just being an Eastern European. Jesus, I've got enough coins, don't I? Uh, no joke, I think he's funny and his intro is scary. Caligura. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. I do like how freaky it is when he's hunting you in the sewer. Um... I just, I just, I'm just not a big fan of the design. Um, I think it just could be a little bit more interesting. Like, especially compared to the other ones, which are like super, super weird and super cool. He's just, just like a blob. And it's like, I get it. It's suitable for someone as disgusting as him, right? To be just, just end up a blob. But, I don't know. Compared to the rest. Okay. Okay, we're officially in Endgame now. Hey guys, you want to see something really cool? If you haven't seen it yet, look at this. The floor tiles feel loose here. There's a book buried here. You find the skin bubble of Vanushka, unedited. It's pretty cool. But you guys all know about that right now, don't you? Okay. I haven't killed any more contestants yet, have I? No. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Where's agility plus one? There it is. I'm going to give... Who needs agility plus one, actually? Not you. Osar, maybe? Hmm. You, Saxon. 
Is it a missed opportunity for Marco's Moonscorch to not be a vampire? Why would it be a vampire? Is that a JoJo reference? I've never played JoJo. So... <laughs> Watched, read. I've never read JoJo, not played JoJo. I think as much as I like Marco, his Moonscorch design is just a pillar man mixed with neighbor designs. I think it's pretty different. You know what? He might actually be sulfur scorched, sun scorched, shouldn't he? It's a mystery. Watch, watch red play, same difference, really. There are vampires in JoJo? Hmm. Hmm. Do I need anything else? I don't really need anything else, do I? Candice Dance and Fast Dance, I'm never going to use that. Rot. Agility. Hmm. Mastery of a Vermin, Flesh Puppetry, Mischief. No. I'm betting Mischief doesn't work against against Heartless anyway. Is there a Sun God in Fear and Hunger? Oh boy, is there. Oh boy, is there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The King, the King, the King. In my, in my dreams, here we go. In my dreams, I've seen the towers, the hollow husks of the endless city. Those who patiently wait for their king to return. So this whole place here is a massive lore dump about how the priests of Preheval are trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with, um, with Mahab. And they talk about, so in, um... When you go to Mahab in the first game, there's people awaiting the return of the sun god. The re sorry, return of the king. And this place here just spells it out for you. It's like the king, the sun, the king, the sun. It's like, oh, okay. The return of the sun, the return of the king. It's the same thing. So the idea is that, that people have sort of been, been piecing together, is that there was a sun god who was the king of Mahab and the king of the old gods. Oh my god, double failure. <laughs> And the king of the old gods. And Ormir is also associated with the sun, right? So the suggestion is that when Ormir ascended, because ascended gods require the death of an old god, somehow the sun king died, Ormir used his soul to ascend to become Ormir, and now Mahab are all waiting for their god to return, but he never returned yet. And so during that ascension... Sulfur was was cast off from Almir, and Sulfur and the Sulfurous Sun is it shows up a few times. And um that act sort of made Sulfur, and Sulfur is the remains of the bad parts of Almir and the bad pit parts of the Sun God. And so Sulfur is an inverse king of the gods. Which is pretty cool. It's just some insane shit, right? <laughs> And so it seems that the priests of Preheval started worshipping Sulphur, maybe because they knew that he was the king of the gods or the remains of the king of the gods. I'm not sure exactly why they do it, but they do do it. So, uh, Jojo's cool. I can see why people might not like it. I've just never, never bothered watching it. And the more people ask me to watch it, the less I'm going to do it. So... <laughs> That makes sense since ascended gods remove bad parts of themselves into a new entity. What is fear and hunger's bad part, God? The god so So the reason why we think that the old the old sun god was also called Sulphur was because um the god of the depths is still around. We can see references to the god of the depths in this game. Using using the same sigil. Even though we know God of the Depths was killed. By, but well, by the player in in Fear and Hunger One, and then its soul was used to make the God of Fear and Hunger. So God of Fear and Hunger scooped up all the parts of, um, all the useful parts of God of the Depths, but we know the God of the Depths explicitly has control over insects now, because of, it controls the beekeepers, 
the beekeepers are associated with uh, the God of the Depths. And, and Mastery of Vermin doesn't let you speak to beekeepers. Imagine in the third game we fight Ormir himself. I would like to know more about what the fuck is going on with Ormir. Where is Ormir in all of this? Where is he? Like, he's the God of Humanity, but where? Where has he gone? Is he dead? Is he, has he left? Like, what's going on? Miss the God of the Depths. Miss my queen for real, yeah. <laughs> Are you explaining lore or trying to recruit me to Jehovah? <laughs> yeah, nah, this is all fear and hunger lore, right? Sulfur getting sun scorched would be as funny as moon scorched rare. I know, right? <laughs> God of the Depths was killed. Well, yeah, it's funny. We don't know. We don't know if, if, if um, old gods can truly die, die. But it was, it, it, it was, it was dead. It wasn't living anymore. Its body was dead. And then we took its soul and did something with it, right? Gorton, Fear and Hunger is covered in bugs. Yeah, because cause in, the, in the first game, uh, vermin considered like bugs, crows, uh, rats, and... Do frogs show up? I don't remember. But yeah, and then, and then in two, uh, vermin are crows, frogs, rats, but not bugs. There's no bugs that, that you can talk to with, with, uh, with Master of a Vermin. So it seems like the little girl didn't like bugs and then she cast bugs away. She's like, they're not useful. So, <laughs> Or me are just vibing. He could just be vibing, to be honest, yeah. It's, it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated. <laughs> uh, okay. Pet pills, nice. Bear trap, nice. Okay. Um, but, 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 well, I don't need. <laughs> I don't need. Um, well, I don't need uh, arm guards anymore, do I? Little girl has a phobia of bugs. Confirmed. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who's the dead god in the city tombs? That is the body of Almir. But see, the thing is, right? The thing is. It's not really clear what the fuck the deal with that is. <laughs> it could be Ormir is dead. It could be his body from when he was a human. Um, it's really not obvious what the deal with, with Ormir's body is. So. Does that mean we can canonically know what the little girl's fear in the first game? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That'd be funny. It might actually be, yeah. Insect phobia, whatever that's called. This one weird trick can create infinite gods, a scented god dupe glitch. <laughs> uh, she could be afraid of herself as well, maybe. She's kind of insect like, isn't it? Can you either make a video or say in chat uh, how you got into fear of hunger? Yeah. Um, honestly, it's pretty simple. I just saw I just saw some people talking about it and, and saw some cool pictures of the first game uh, a few years ago. And I was like, that looks neat. And so I played it a bit and I was like, this is really cool. And then I didn't really finish it. I just got the bad ending in the first game. Then I just sort of stopped playing it. And then at uh, the end of last year, I was streaming some other indie horror games. And then I saw that Termina was coming out. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play that. And um, I've just been, I've just been, you know, in love with the game ever since. It's just been, it's just been super fun. Uh, just been really, really enjoying it. I mean, I've got over 100 hours in the damn game now. <laughs> I have 118 hours in Fear and Hunger 2. What's a game plan at this point in the run? I, I want to beat... Um, I want to beat... Heartless. I might save that for tomorrow, actually. This has been five hours. My throat's getting pretty sore. <laughs> so I might actually save and wrap up now. Um, fear and hunger. Yeah. God of the Depths was insects because he made the cool trench coat guys. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you can speak to insects in the first game with with mastery over insects. Okay. Cool. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Hang on, I'll just step back a bit. There we go. You can resurrect part of all me. <laughs> yeah. What's the deal with logic having a rare dimension form? Uh, logic, so the logic project is... Um, one of the things they do is drill through reality. Um, and logic is half in... It's one of the few things that's half in our reality and half in Rare's realm. Uh, because it, it's, it's boring through reality. Unto, into the subconscious. And the Rare's realm seems to be the subconscious part of humanity, of, of reality. So... Um, it's also, it also seems to be the reason that Rare's Realm has all those boards on it. Because you see in other places, arms of logic actually assembling pillars made of wood. But that's a big maybe. <laughs> Fun catching a stream. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks, thank you very much for coming in, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, logic and Ascended One or a new god? Logic is something different. So... New gods use the power, both, both new gods and ascended gods use the power of the old gods in order to sort of become better than human. Um, Kaiser, aka Yellow King, aka Lagarde, was obsessed with humanity making its own power and not using the power of the, of the old gods. So what logic is, is something entirely new, it seems like. It seems entirely new. It's mimicking what the old gods do, but it's in, it's it's something it's made based on different technology. Hit the like button, yeah! Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Pop back in time to say have a good one. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you all very much for coming in. Thank you to the massive amount of memberships today. Um, thank you for everybody who 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 became a member. Thank you for everybody who gifted some subs. Um. Uh, thank you very much in, in particular to half for the, the massive sub bombs. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, thank you all very much. It's been, it's been fantastic stream. I hope you all enjoyed, uh, watching me meat grind through, uh, almost everything except, except heartless. Heartless is going to be a bit more of an issue, I think, <laughs> but we'll get that tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's stream at the same, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, yes. Thank you all very much. I'm going to go pass out now, have some lunch and then fall asleep, I guess, and give my throat a rest. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all very much for coming in, guys. Love you all. Goodbye.